for the matchup. And there is no other like it between the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins. And you're looking at the standings in the NFC East with the Redskins and the Eagles chasing Dallas, just one game behind. I'm sure it comes as no surprise that there is a sellout crowd. And good afternoon. I'm Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire, and there's no series like this. And I think that the Cowboys right now, after the loss on Monday night, have to get very physical. They are going against, I think, the best secondary in football for the Redskins. And turnover city, uh, the Redskins will try to pick their pocket. I think the Cowboys have a real tough afternoon. I think we both got the impression, as we said earlier, that perhaps the Cowboys are a little down. Maybe it is that midseason slump that they sometimes seem to go through. And you look at Roger Staubach, who's got a big, uh, painful thigh injury. Randy White, a great player, is going to be hobbling. Uh, some of their quality people are hurt, and uh, that's when they rise to the occasion. Yes, usually. those quality people include Cliff Harris as well. Let's get down to the action now and see what's going on. Redskins have won the toss, and Raphael Septien will kick off. The referee is Cal Lepore. The umpire, Dave Hamilton, helped out by Tony Vateri, Bob Beeks, Banks Williams, Grover Klimmer, and Jack Vaughn. Bobby Hammond, newly acquired from the Giants, was one of the ones back deep for the Redskins. This is Ike Forte, however, number 30, and Forte breaks out. They're almost the 40-yard line, a good return by Ike Forte. And that, of course, is also a strong asset of the, the Redskins have for their special team play, and they get good field position on a natural grass stadium that might be one of the best in the land. A 37-yard return for Ike Forte. Here is the Redskin offense. You wouldn't draft all of them, but they play well together. John Riggins is healthy this year. Bugs, Ricky Thompson, good receiver, and they got a uh, pretty good offensive line. There it is right there. Hermelink, Saul, Kuzil, Williams, Stark, and Don Warren. And here it is. First and 10 at their own 39 for Washington. That is Benny Malone off the right side for about four. Stopped by middle linebacker Bob Brunig. And we'll look at that Dallas defense. Again, this defense has to get physical. Larry Cole stalls Randy White, and he is limping. And, of course, Harvey Martin, who sometimes does set the tempo for the Dallas uh, down four. There are the linebackers, Henderson, Brunig, and Dee, Dee Lewis. And the secondary. And Cliff Harris is ailing, and of course, Charlie Waters is back home watching in Dallas. Uh, I think they're a little thin there, the Cowboys are. Second and six on an absolutely perfect day in Washington. Benny Malone off the right side again, hit by Randy Hughes, replacing Charlie Waters and doing a good job of it. No huddle for the Redskins, look at this. As Dallas tries to get their special team in, and they've got too many men on the field. The Redskins work it. They caught Dallas with too many men on the field as they tried to get in their pass rush unit. Looked like Larry Cole was caught about 10 yards off, heading for the bench. Cal Lepore. Redskins are the best third down conversion team in football anyway. Third down. No play, they say. So they didn't catch him. Sure looked like they did. What's a no play? <laughs> That's another one of those new rules. I've never seen a no play. That's like catapulting we saw last week. No play is third and three. Clarence Harmon and Ike Forte, the setback says Riggins is out. Joe Eisman, Harvey Martin almost got him from behind. And the flag goes down, downfield. Got to be an illegal hit. Pass intended for Danny Bugs, incomplete, out of bounds and high over the head of Danny Bugs. Well, number 80 was running a crossing pattern and thought somebody had hit him in the back of the neck. That's McDaniel. It was away from where the ball is thrown. Let's see if we can see it now. It should happen right to the lower part of your screen. Good pressure by Harvey Martin, though, made uh, Joe Theismann fired out of bounds. Boy, Harvey Martin really made a fast pass rush. Was he quick off the ball that time? He's working Illegal against Terry Permalink. Number 31, defense, first down. Violation against Benny Barnes, and that moves the ball close to midfield, just inside Dallas territory. It'll be first down, Redskins. First possession of the day. That's what Leisman has done in his career. Riggins and Malone, the setbacks behind him. Leisman. White and now stalls, hits him. Pass almost complete to Malone, but knocked loose. Big rush by Randy White. And if the rhinoceros is hurt, he doesn't look like it on this. Watch number 54. They're in the flex defense. 
That is Saul working on him, the strongest offensive lineman for Washington. And I'll tell you, Randy just comes right on through the block. Theismann now is a very fast drop back man, even faster than Jimmy Hart. And good pressure from Stalls. D.D. Lewis is the man who hit Malone. And it'll be second and 10. Riggins and Malone, the setbacks. Look on Theismann this year. Perfect day in Washington. Temperature around 70 degrees. Couldn't ask for a better day. This is Malone trying to cut back. Down in the arms of Bob Brunick. Good play by D.D. Lewis as well. And it looks like the Skins have, have tried to cross up the defense. Obviously, Riggins hasn't carried the ball yet, and he's their big rusher with over 700 yards. But when Malone carries the ball, you're good for about a three-yard average. It's not like giving the ball to number 44. Take something away. 44 and 25 both come out now, and Harmon and Ike Forte are the setbacks. 47% of the time, the Redskins convert, but it's usually third and three, not third and 11. Yeah, that's what they face right now as Theismann looks over that Dallas defense. Danny Bugs and John McDaniel split wide. Bugs on the other side, up at the top of your picture. McDaniel out of it. Well, Bugs got it. Aaron Kyle on the coverage, but Bugs is down at the Dallas 27. First down, Washington. Catch number 31 for Danny Bugs. The blitz comes up the middle. You can see Mitchell's cut off. Henderson's cut off. A great throw by Joe Theismann on about the second count. 23 yards on that pass completion to Danny Bugs. Remember, the Giants gave up on Bugs, never even let him play. He's found a home here, and he's doing an excellent job for Joe Walton's offense. Boy, that's a good throw. And again, the Dallas quarterbacks are going to be tested. Seems like most of the teams that have success against Dallas worked on those wide receivers. Pittsburgh, Philadelphia last week. And now Joe Theismann and Danny Bugs as Malone gets the carry. Chased by Hughes and taken down by Randy Hughes in a good play. No game. Some play by number 42. Hughes came up and took the blocker on Saul and just played it off uh, like a linebacker more than a defensive secondary man. What's the right part of your screen? Well, that's an excellent play by number 42. It'll be second and 11 as Harris and Henderson come over. That Oki's smart, too, you know it. He was a bright guy. Oh, yeah. In the home building business and selling a lot. Second and 11. Well within the range of Mark Mosley. Here's Dyson straight back. And now scrambles out to the right side, being chased by Randy White. Throws over the head of Don Warren. And he is claiming that Randy Hughes interfered with him, but he didn't. And so it'll be third down, Redskins, and still 11. Fisher look was, was looking right at the play. Hughes did get tangled up with Warren's thigh guards, but didn't make enough contact. We, we never really gave Theismann much credit, but maybe he really didn't deserve it before. But this year, he's disciplined himself, and he runs the offense. He, he doesn't scramble just to show you that he can run. And he's been using this guy as well as any kicker, I guess, uh, in football. He is the best at the moment. This is the eighth play of this Washington Redskin drive, which started back at their own 39. And Theismann again in a passing situation, drops and throws. Too soon. Intended for McDaniel, he had just barely turned around when the ball arrived. And Mosley will make his appearance. Mosley is 11 of 12 up to the 39-yard line. Pat, they tell me he does 500-pound squats with weights to build up those legs and still doesn't get them so tight that... Uh, but they pull like a bunch of rubber bands. Incredible. Not only how far he kicks it, but how high he kicks it and how soon he gets it in the air. Look at this. Looks like it grew out of the ground. <laughs> Looks like a stump. Mosley. Will push it to the right. No good. And they'll bring it back to the line of scrimmage. A very unusual happening as Mark Mosley misses for the Redskins and Dallas takes over. 10.57 left to play in the first quarter. No score at RFK Stadium in Washington. Dallas has the football at their own 27. Rayfield Wright will start at offensive right tackle, which is something unusual. Here is the Dallas Triggerman. Nobody's better at the skill positions than the Dallas Cowboys. Pat, they average running off 70 offensive plays a game. That's their average. Roger. 70 plays. Roger Staubach, the quarterback, gets to Newhouse. Newhouse has been hurting all year long, just about. Carl Lorch made the tackle. We'll set the rest of the Redskin defense in just a second. Here it is. 
Well, this is the offensive line for Dallas. Beg your pardon. Solid. Sometimes uh, looked down upon and frowned a little bit, but they do a good job. And, of course, only seven interceptions by Roger Staubach. So these guys are doing a lot better job in the line of scrimmage than sometimes uh, we're led to believe. Here's Roger. Second and six, a four-yard Pick up by Newhouse. Doug Cosby has entered the contest along with Billy Joe Dupree. So they have two tight ends, and Staubach is going to put it up. Wide open is Dupree. Cuts back behind the block of Drew Pearson. Out of bounds inside Redskin territory. Lamar Parrish. The first man to hit him, but Dupree was wide open. We talked about the great secondary for the Redskins, but if there's no pass rush on number 12, you don't have a good enough secondary. This is just a drag out by the tight end. You can see Pearson had gone through the cornerback Parrish, and there was nothing but a vacuum left, and 89 filled it. Good play. It's big, it's not too nifty, but it's strong on natural grass. Lorch, big butts, and of course, uh, there's the linebacking core. They got a rookie playing middle linebacker. And here's the secondary, Parrish Lavender. Houston. And here is Tony Dorsett's first carry. Back to the weak side, no place to go for Tony D. About the 47-yard line where Pete Wysocki knocks him out of bounds. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Washington Redskins and the National Football League is prohibited. It's an amazing stat that Dorsett only averages 3.1 against Washington. He's never even caught a pass against the Redskins yet in four games. He hurt his average a little bit on that carry. Just two, second and eight. Scott Laidlaw has joined Dorsett in the Dallas backfield now. From the 46, it's Dorsett again. And that average will now improve as Dorsett comes near a first down, stopped by Brad Dusek, who just stripped him up. Great tackle in the open field by a class linebacker. Of course, Brad's the old Texas Aggie. There's a man that plays with pain very well. Really keeps care of his personal life and does his charities, keeps a low profile. And Tex Ram was saying before the game, uh, he has to call Roger in to negotiate the contract or renegotiate, which the Cowboys have done several times. He said, don't you think it's time you took a raise? <laughs> Highly unusual in this day. Third and two. Roger Staubach, quite a man. right at the line of scrimmage by Dave Butts and will not have the first down. Well out of field goal range for Dallas. Watch that defense. They're right on the line of scrimmage and they stay very low on it. Butts, of course, weighs about 280. I remember a year or so ago he got mad because we said he had a size nine shoe or something, remember? Yes. And I was afraid. Afraid where he was going to put that size 11 shoe. That's what worried me. At the 40, Dallas will have to kick, or at least Danny White is in the game. Bobby Hammond back deep, standing at his own 10 for Washington. But Danny White, of course, from here is always a threat to run or throw or whatever. Standing at his 45, and he ducks underneath and finally gets a kick away. What an athlete. A flag goes down, and so is Danny White down. And Aaron Kyle will down it. It's about the three, but the officials are saying it's back in the end zone. Well, they're going to call Monty Coleman for roughing the kicker. But once the kicker puts his, the ball down and starts to run a little bit, there's one, two steps, three steps. There's four steps, five steps. Here's where Coleman makes his contact. Forget it. It's nothing. We have a touchback. We're going that way. Good call by Cal Lepore. This flag was put back in the pocket. And young Coleman was right. White had given up his uh, his safety guards when he, of course, made that three or four steps. It was a very wise move on Danny White's part because if he hadn't done that, that kick would have been blocked. He got off a 40-yarder under duress. Kicker ran with the ball, lost his basic protection, no foul on the play. It's a touchback going this way. Cal wants to be an announcer. <laughs> nothing, nothing at RFK Stadium in Washington. The Cowboys and the Redskins. A clap. There's the conference going on over by the Redskins bench. Coy Bacon, number 79. Right. He's the big sack artist. Got over seven of them this year. 
Carl Lorch is 71, and now Joe Theismann and the offense take over. No score as yet with 7.45 left first quarter. Dallas in the flex defense, and Riggins gets his first carry. Is hit and pulls ahead. Larry Cole wrestling around the head. Let's check the scoreboard. A 23-yard field goal in a very important game for anybody watching this contest, of course. Tony Franklin and those Eagles that with the Cowboys on Monday night continue to improve, don't they? New England, 6-0. That's a Steve Grogan pass to Stanley Morgan. And a blocked extra point, huh? Three-yard pickup here by John Riggins. Make it second and seven. The Redskins on their own 24. This is Benny Malone hit behind the line of oh. scrimmage by Harvey Martin, who is fired up today. And had a good stunt going with Randy White. 54 goes outside, and watch, watch Harvey now come outside in from that flex position and just strangle the ball carrier. Very aggressive. Well, it's been a long time since we've seen the Cowboys attack like this on defense. And a good job by Larry Cole at the line of scrimmage, getting a stalemate with his blocker. Clarence Herman and Ike Forte in the Redskin backfield now as Riggins and Malone come out. It'll be third down. Looks like about five. Dallas fakes a blitz. They do not. Theismann fires. Misses. Intended for John McDaniel. Aaron Kyle on the coverage. Good protection for Theismann. That time it was just excellent secondary work by number 25. Theismann is one for five for 23 yards. Jack Pardee with a heck of a player. And everywhere he's been has had a pretty good record as a coach. Assistant and head coach. Mike Bragg back deep for the Redskins. And Steve Wilson, number 81, will probably handle it for Dallas, and he will. At his own 33, Wilson looking for room. Can't find it, still bouncing around. In the hands of Ted Fritsch. Who that, does the snapping on the punts for and Washington? And they're the best at that. They hold uh, the punt people to 4.3 yards of return. And I think they bettered their record. A little oxygen for Riggin. No <laughs> score in the first quarter. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire for the Cowboys and the Redskins in Washington. On the warm side today, up in the 70s. Could you say it's perfect? There's Saul, of course. The offensive linemen are getting a breather. He and Williams. A zero chance of rain, they say. Doug Cosby and Billy Joe Dupree, both in the game as tight ends. And Billy Joe now shifts out wide to the left out alongside Drew Pearson. Starback has Newhouse and Dorsett, and this is Dorsett. Tony, perhaps a yard, no more. Stopped by Brad Dusick, the ex-Aggie linebacker. You've got to be careful with that Redskin defense. When they're really tuned up to stop A back, they can do a job, but they held Montgomery in the second game of the Eagles to 33 yards. That's a Richard Todd 19 yarder to Barkham and a point after was blocked. Well, they've had some problems with extra points, haven't they? Green Bay three, Buffalo nothing. A Tom Bernie field goal. Start back on the draw and a lay line. The ball is gone. Taken right away from him and Washington has it. And it's Coy Bacon who snatched it away. That's the 17th fumble that this old bunch of Redskins have stolen this year. And that's the reason they're one of the best turnover teams in football. Look at this. He just took it right away from him. Number 17. And look at the look on the face of Laidlaw. He's looking for the hole. He thinks he's okay. And Butts may have caused it, but it looked like he was floundering a little bit with that ball to start with. He never really had possession, did he? I thought that Bacon had just snatched it away, but Laidlaw just never had possession. And Washington gets the first turnover. At the Dallas 37, they'll operate first and 10. Five and a half minutes left first quarter. Steisman gives to Malone, and Malone swings it around the corner. Picks up a couple, and Aaron Kyle sucks him out of bounds. Cliff Harris was the low man on that tackle. Jeff Williams got out in front, and he pulled that time. Did a good job on D.D. Lewis, and it looked like Malone wasn't going to make any yardage because he had to run so deep. Jeff Williams goes about 260. Stands 6'4". Redskins got him from the Rams in exchange for Bass Eddie Brown. That's been a good trade. Four-yard pickup by Malone. Make it second and six. As they huddle around Theismann. One out of five for Joe so far. That only completion across the middle to Danny Bugs. 
He's running on first down almost every series. Riggins back there with Malone. And the fake is to Malone, and Theismann fires over the head of McDaniel, but a flag is down back in the vicinity of Aaron Kyle, who was covering McDaniel that time. Well, I think Aaron Mitchell actually knocked off Ricky Thompson, who was coming across the middle. Again, it was not where the ball was thrown. Sometimes that's when you can't cover people, but sometimes it's just when you're sort of caught in the act. That ball was thrown to the deeper receiver. Theismann has really gotten his act together, though. You know it? Here's Cal Lepore. Illegal contact, number 34, defense, first down. And that is the rookie Aaron Mitchell, number 34. It's a first down Redskins. He likes to hit people almost to the point of uh, getting flagged. He is playing in place of Cliff Harris at the moment, uh, in place of Randy Hughes. Outside the boat. Bugs gets around the corner. Out of bounds inside the 20, about the 17. Well, that's a good call. Terry Hermeling, number 75, the wounded old offensive tackle, got out in front. Well, that was a darn good call on first down, coming back after an interference call. I was incorrect a minute ago about who was in the Dallas secondary. It's Benny Barnes who is not playing at the moment, and Mitchell is in there in his place. Benny Barnes has had that foot problem for about what the last three and a half years, really. Something like that. You'd think it would be better on natural grass than it would be on artificial turf, but obviously there is a problem at the moment. There's Terry Hermelin across from Harvey Martin. Riggins bangs down to about the 15. Hermelin is a great example, though, of a professional's professional. I see the big fella. He's got a dislocated elbow suffered last week, and here he is playing now. Look at that right arm all wrapped up. From Speaking. Reno, Nevada, I think, is where he went to college. He studied crap shooting. What do you study out at Reno, <laughs> Nevada? Studied a long time ago. This is his 10th year. <laughs> That's right. You probably forgot by now. First and 10 at the 15th. Theismann outside. He has Ricky Thompson complete. Thompson perhaps got a couple before Aaron Kyle reacted quickly. Ricky Thompson, who will catch this little sprint out turnout for not much yardage, he comes from Baylor, and he says if they don't win one of the two games with Dallas, he can't go back home in the offseason. You can only go back to Texas if you've managed to draw, at least, with the Cowboys. They'll have their second chance on the last Sunday of the regular season. And that could be a big one, as this one is. Theismann, three out of seven so far. Line of scrimmage, the 12-yard line of Dallas. No score as yet with 3.55 left to play first quarter. An odd-looking formation, this. And the trap play right up the middle to Malone. An offset eye, that was, with the two setbacks lined up over behind the offensive tackle. And Theismann came out like he was going to throw off of it, so you know they do have the pass coming off of it. Watch this fake. He takes it all the way back. Misdirection by the offback. Now it's third and four, and uh, I tell you, the Redskins look like they've got a pretty good game plan, and they're sticking right with it. Randy White made the tackle. Clarence Harmon and Ike Forte now in the backfield for Washington. This is the sixth play coming up, and a timeout call by the Washington Redskins as Theismann on third and four doesn't want to make any mistakes down this close to the Dallas goal line. He's coming over to talk to Jack Pardee. RFK is absolutely full this afternoon. Redskins and the Cowboys, one of the NFL's most bitter rivalries. Go to Fats. You ever shoot pool? Uh, yeah, and I've, I've played uh, shot pool with Willie Moscone. He'll uh, wipe Minnesota Fats right out. I taught him, you know, how to cue it up. Redskins have the ball now with Clarence Harmon and Ike Forte behind Joe Theismann on third down. Heisman throws out to Forte, and Forte down to about the four-yard line. Stopped by Randy Hughes, but enough for a Redskin first down. It'll be first and goal, Washington. A lot of the completions for Heisman this year have been to the backs. Usually it's Riggins, but this is Forte, the former Arkansas Razorback. Very good open field tackle here, but first down country, and 
tell you that Redskins now have run off 17 plays and the Cowboys have only run off seven plays. Line of scrimmage will be the four when they break that huddle with two and a half minutes left to play in the first quarter. The Dallas defense digs in. Riggins and Malone, the setbacks. And you'd expect Riggins. You expect Theismann. Who throws? Touchdown! McDaniel. The Redskin touchdown. Washington breaks on top. McDaniel's first touchdown catch of the year. He let somebody else spike it for it. But it was Theismann's quick move to the outside. Joe is not the tallest quarterback. He's got a lot of extra time. Let's watch it now. He'll move on the sprint out. Boy, he's a good athlete. Always was. Riggins will try to... Boy, that looks to me like there was a blitzing linebacker coming for Dallas. I think it was Hunter that made the move. Mosley. Good. Redskins take the lead. Philadelphia and Washington began today's action a game behind Dallas in the NFC East. Right now, the Redskins lead 7 0. 37 yards in seven plays after Coy Bacon recovered Scott Laidlaw's fumble. Washington 7, Dallas nothing. I think they're the number two team uh, in turnovers, takeaways, as they say, the Redskins, and they usually capitalize on them either with a Mosley field goal, but in this case, with a touchdown. Here's Theismann. Now, why the two linebackers fired this close to the goal line, I don't know. Maybe they thought it was going to be a run option of some kind, but that sure puts the secondary in jeopardy. And, of course, Theismann always has that threat or presents that threat because he is, as you said, a fine athlete. Steve Wilson and Ron Springs back deep for Dallas. Mark Mosley tees it up at the 35, and he kicks it high. I'm really surprised that Dallas linebackers, though, went all the way across the line of scrimmage and didn't try to play it to the sidelines. Here is Mosley with his hand extended in the air and ready to kick. I wonder what his hang time is on these kickoffs. That one is not much. That's a knuckler, and that's Springs with the ball. A good-looking wedge in front of him. Ron Springs to the outside, and Springs out to about the 42-yard line where he's knocked out of bounds. Tonight on CBS, start your evening with a brand-new edition of 60 Minutes, and then Mike and Gloria have a surprise for Archie and Edith on a special one-hour Archie Bunker's place. Followed by more great comedy on Alice and the Jeffersons, and don't miss Fernell Roberts as Trapper John, M.D. I think that's uh, Wallace talking to the Ayatollah on 60 Minutes, of course, huh? Very special 60 Minutes yes, tonight, sir. I would say. That's always a very special show, and tonight even more so. First and 10. Dallas, from their own 41, Stahlback has Drew Pearson to about the 46. Those soft hands and light steps of one of the best clutch receivers anywhere. That time, the Redskins tried to fire their young middle linebacker in there, dog him, and uh, Roger Staubach has seen a lot of different blitzes, and he's also seen teams get early leads. The thing the Cowboys can't do is get so far behind that this old defense will begin to sit on them in that second half. That middle linebacker is a rookie from Maryland named Neil Olkowitz, and he's really played well. It's a man to remember. Drew Pearson comes in motion. Redskins halfway fake a blitz, then don't. And here is Dorsett. Dorsett in the arms of Pete Wysocki goes down, but he has the Dallas first down. Rafferty, the pulling guard, and perhaps his best blocking as he pulls, got out in front in good shape and got Tony D off the side. Watch 64 now. And at 260, uh, the big right guard really is a fine pulling guard. Donovan doing a good job at the top. But I'll tell you, the secondary is loaded with good tacklers. Lavender and of course Kenny Houston is one of the superb secondary men of all time. Kenny just had a birthday, 35 years old this week. There's the measurement, and uh, Tony Dorsett got just enough. You know, Houston is also playing in his 182nd consecutive game in this league. Isn't that phenomenal for a defensive back? The pounding that they take, 3-3, Green Bay Buffalo. To Mickemeyer field goal, and here's Baltimore 7 to 6. That's McCauley with a one yard run for a touchdown, and the extra point was good. 
First down for Dallas in Washington territory at the 49 of the Redskins as Newhouse and Dorsett operate behind Stallback and Pearson goes in motion. Fake is set, the blitz is on. Stallback has Drew Pearson, and again, he makes one of those patented Pearson catches hit by Lamar Paris. Again, the blitz was on, and this time Roger yelled out. You could hear people yelling all over the line of scrimmage. Here's the spin. It goes back to the strong side of the formation. That's to the right, where Drew Pearson went. It's a lob, and boy, this is safe. Even against Parrish, who's probably the best solo coverage man in football from the corner spot. Drew Pearson with great hang time. <laughs> First down, Dallas at the Redskin 31. Washington leads 7-0. Scott Laidlaw with Dorsett operating in the Dallas backfield. Laidlaw swings wide to the left, and the pass will come to him. Wysocki got him and managed to get him out of bounds with help from Neil Okowitz, number 52. Pat, let's take a look at Roger Staubach and see how that hip might be bothering him. Uh, he's a little stiffer looking than he usually is, but he's really handling the offense very well right now. Remember, it's a very painful thing. It's right on that thigh, and he's got a big pad on it. Sets up pretty well. He is cool under fire. Laidlaw got away from Wysocki. Here's that action up front now. You've got to go out and get the Redskins. Don't let them get penetration. Good job. Rafferty staying right in front of Butts. Dorsett goes back deep in the eye, and it's about time for one of those right-handed pitch outs. Here is Newhouse burrowing down to about the 20. Perhaps a little bit shy of a first down before he is stopped by Coy Bacon. FC East, uh, one time everybody thought it was going to be a cakewalk for Dallas, but it looks to me like the final day of the season. Cowboy is down. That's John Fitzgerald. Can't lose him. Can't lose that offensive center. Now, he plays hurt probably as well as any offensive lineman around. The big fella from Boston College this time is stretched. Here's a defensive end in college converted to a center. You know who scouted him? Ernie Stoner came back and said, uh, there's a big Irishman up there. Ought to be able to play in this league somewhere. This big Irishman right now is in pain. John Fitzgerald being attended to by the Dallas medical staff. We will be in the Motor City on Thanksgiving Day when the Bears are still fighting for a playoff spot take on the Detroit Lions. We've had all kinds of problems. Walter Payton indoors or out is some kind of a special treat. All the action begins with the NFL today at 12 o'clock Eastern time with Brent Musburger, Jane Kennedy, Herb Cross, Jimmy the Greek. We'll all share a bird together, huh? Up in Jack Detroit. Whitaker's going to be there to help out, too. They'll all be in Detroit with us. We'll let Whitaker carve. He's the little. only safe one. <laughs> That's right. Don't let anybody, the rest of the crew, have a weapon <laughs> like a knife, right? <laughs> Dallas, by the way, has passed on first down three straight times. By the way, if you start to look ahead, if Fitzgerald can't make it, it'll be number 52, Robert Shaw, in all likelihood, who is Dallas' first-round draft choice. Next week's schedule on CBS, as Fitzgerald is still being attended to, the regional games will have Minnesota at Tampa, New Orleans, Atlanta, St. Louis, Cincinnati. Washington will visit the Giants, Philadelphia, Green Bay, and Los Angeles, San Francisco. Consult your local listings for the game and time in your area. And look who's here, he all just, the way from Dallas. Just rode in, right? And the horse has got to be tired. Fitzgerald is really hurting. It's like his right leg. John Dutton helping with the carryoff. Let's watch the first snap. It's bad enough to have another center snap the first one, much less the rookie. It is the rookie, Robert Shaw, drafted number one by the Cowboys, 6'4", 245 from Tennessee. First down, Dallas at the Redskin 20. Dorsett to about the 17. Coy Bacon caught him from behind. Here is number 52. Well, there's a lot to learn about playing center on any professional team, but particularly with Dallas. That'll be the end of the first quarter then, with Dallas driving, but Washington leading. 
Redskins on a touchdown pass by Joe Theismann lead 7 to nothing at the end of one. Like Gene Fugit had a blowout. Big catch. Well, he uh, has had a little bit of a problem. He hasn't played in about three or four weeks. They've got the rookie in there, Warren. Right now, Roger, though, is taking a snap from the rookie center again. Crowd comes to his feet. No shotgun, second and seven. And there's the exchange problem. I believe Dallas Stallback got it back. He lost control and just jumped on it. Again, the young center might have been leaving early because he's got butts sitting right on his, his shoulder. The young man weighs 250. He's going to be a good prospect. Here's the move. Straightened right up and left it. Left the ball. Left it right on his thigh, and Roger goes after it. Ooh, here they come. Yeah, here comes Big Dave Butts. No telling how much he weighs. They list him at 280. First quarter, Washington had the ball 8 minutes and 48 seconds. The Cowboys, 6 12. Chicago and the Jets, 7 6. Mike Phipps, touchdown pass. The Bears. Stallback for Tony Hill over his head, just barely. He was open. Tony Peters on the coverage, but Hill had a chance. Notice there was no shotgun by Roger. He didn't want to take a chance on the snap. So that time he took it, the snap from under. I thought it was catchable. Was it too far into the seats there? It looked like Hill got turned around in the wrong direction. That's the first incomplete pass by Stallback, by the way. Raphael Septien's book. Seven of seven from this range. This will be, let's see, about 35 yards. 34 make it with Danny White holding. How about off the grass? Is that any different for a kicker that's used to the carpet? For a soccer style kicker, it can be more difficult. Septien does not have any difficulty with that one, and he hits it from 34 yards out. Raphael Septien puts Dallas on the board. And with 14.08 left in the first half, the Redskins lead. 7-3. Oh, there, map of Bourbon Street. Yeah, Richie Pettibone, right? A great old defensive player himself talking to Kenny Houston and the gang about some coverages. The quarterback at Tulane in his collegiate days. Bobby Hammond is chased back in the end zone. Hammond swings out to about the 22-yard line. Knocked down by Guy Brown. CBS Sports Spectacular. Next Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time as Mike Weaver against Scott Ledoux, the Battle of the NFL Cheerleaders. Boy. And uh, Billiards Exhibition with Minnesota Fats against Willie Moscone. Tell you, Weaver and Ledoux, those are two spoilers, those two heavyweights. They've retired a couple of people in their time. How about those cheerleaders? <laughs> a lot better than Minnesota Fats. They could be spoilers. <laughs> First down. Redskins have the football with 13.58 left in the first half as Malone runs into Randy Hughes, among others. And Larry Bethea also in on the tackle. Boy, is this a new look Washington team from the ones that we used to see with McDole and McClinton oh, and God. Hamburger and a Jurgensen or a Kilmer around? And a different color uniforms as well. Those old gold pants are gone. In spite of People like McDole and those others you mentioned being gone, they are still the oldest team in the NFL. You know, they work uh, sometimes three and a half or four hours in practice sessions. That's a big change. That's why they're the oldest. <laughs> Second and eight. Theisman drops in here is Larry Bethea chasing Theisman and he throws. And down goes the penalty flag. And Theisman is saying, You're wrong. There's somebody over there. There was. But it was a Dallas Cowboy, Dee Dee Lewis. The official doesn't care if, if somebody's in the area or not. The whole thing is, is the quarterback's intent to keep from losing yardage? That's what the official has to measure. Now, how you can climb into somebody's soul and find out that or not, I don't know. Great effort here to get away from Martin. But they are chasing. That's got to be a very difficult call. There is somebody over there. That is John Riggins, it looks like. Well, I just think it's a needless call. It's a great effort by both the offensive and defensive players. Intentional grounding. The seven offense. That has got to be an awfully difficult call to make. Here's Riggins saying, hey, what about me? Makes the next call very difficult for number seven. It'll be third down. 18. I beg your pardon. Third down, about 18 to go. Here is Ike Forte. Forte comes 
barreling out to about the 28-yard line before Randy Hughes again has to make the tackle. He does not have enough for a first down, but he got good yardage nevertheless. Good call when you're expecting pass, of course, with almost 20 to go. The guards get out. Let's see how they do. Williams and Saul both get out in front. Forte now is the pass-receiving part of that backfield. Been averaging almost four yards a carry, but that's only his 15th carry of the year. Here is Mike Bragg getting off a rocket and chasing Steve Wilson back to his own 22, where he sheds a couple of tackles. It's out to about the 30-yard line before he is down by the Redskins, and they come up with the football, but they rule it dead. Clarence Harmon was the first man down. Number 82 is Dallas Hickman. Special teams, and they do play it, don't they, the Redskins? 49-yard punt by Mike Bragg, an eight-yard return. While we were away, Tony Dorsett has carried the ball twice for Dallas and picked up uh, about seven yards, about two on the last carry. And so it's now Cowboy third down and about three. Jack Pardee looks on from the side. Washington leads 7 3. And Fitzgerald is back in at offensive center. The nine year veteran knows the best way to keep uh, young people from taking over your job is to play. <laughs> there he is. And Preston Pearson is the lone setback of the Dallas backfield. He's been away for a while, but he is back and has a Dallas first down. Chased out of bounds by Monty Coleman, who's been a real fine too for the Redskins, but Dallas has a first. Preston Pearson in a clutch situation. Fitzgerald checks through and goes out and tries to make a block for him, but Pardee said during the week that one of the great things preparing for Dallas this week was that he didn't think Preston Pearson would be back. And on third down, he is dynamite. And he is back. And what a back. At the 43, Dallas first down. 11.09 left in the first half with the Redskins leading Dallas 7-3, a rather quiet time. Over on the Washington bench, Phil Dubois. Back up tight end being looked at. Here's Staubach on first down to put it up. Maybe. And finally does. Throws out of bounds intended for Drew Pearson. Great coverage. Redskins had everybody covered. The great thing about Staubach is, uh, and people will tell you that the Dallas Cowboys have the best quarterback in football in Roger Staubach. Here's some of that coverage we're talking about. Look at Perry staying with Pearson. Wow, like a shadow. Throw it away. Roger now has gone 91 attempts without throwing an INT, an interception. Very important part of the game. Redskins put in their rushing unit now. On defense, stall back five out of seven for 59. Pitch back to Dorsett, and Dorsett is hit right at the line of scrimmage. Ripped up by number 51, Monty Coleman. He's a young fellow that didn't play any high school football, and he went up to see a friend of his at, what was it, Central Arkansas State? Right. And they said, uh, why don't you play football? And he got bigger and bigger. Now he's playing at 218, and he's very active. And number 51 likes to hit people. He's been a real fine. There's Joe Theismann looking on, speaking of fines. Played so long in the shadow of first Jurgensen and then Kilmer. But now the Redskin offense belongs to him. And he's done a good job. Now the shotgun for the first time on third down, Staubach. The Ooh. snap from Fitzgerald is low, but Roger fielded it. Chased. Staubach looking, will put it away and run. Not enough for a first down, and Roger is up under the Redskin bench, knocked out by Perry Brooks. And a little bit muddy for that effort. I noticed the Redskins went over and picked up uh, Brooks, but they didn't pick up Staubach, the other quarterback. Here's that low snap. Again, Roger with a very painful bruised thigh. It's heavily padded. Joe Jones is chasing him right into the Redskin bench. A lot of the enemy surrounding the Cowboy. <laughs> Danny White will be in for Dallas. He almost blocked the first one. Bobby Hammond is the man at whom you're looking right now. Danny White made a fine play to avoid having a punt blocked earlier. Got off a 40 yarder after ducking under the rush. This time protection is good and White hangs it high. Hammond will not fair catch it. 
It's out to about the 24, and the Cowboys special teams do their job. Down early is Ron Springs, number 20. The rookie from Ohio State. What a year they had. Rose Bowl bound Ohio State. Washington 7, Dallas 3. That's summer all with Tom Brookshire at RFK Stadium in Washington. Cowboys flex their defense as Ricky Thompson swings in motion. The Redskins offensive line moved too soon. Looks like the left offensive tackle, Terry Hermeling, might have come up out of his stance too quickly. Looked like he moved the big foot just a little bit to get his stance started. Harvey Martin has been coming off the line of scrimmage like he's on fire. You will notice, I'm sure, that Randy White is out. And then Larry Bethea is playing defensive right tackle. And I see Randy White on the other side of the field talking with Dr. Knight. He's got a foot problem. You know, something else the Redskins have done well is not fumble the ball. False start, moving before the snap, 75. Offense, first down. That's Terry Hermeling, our big friend with the bad elbow. But they've only fumbled eight times this year. That might be one of the most disastrous things an offense can do is cough that ball up. First and 15 at the 19 for the Redskins. Thompson again in motion. Inside handoff Malone, who tripped over his own blocker, Terry Hermeling. The man of whom we just spoke. Pretty good cross block, Hermeling and Saul. What's the part of your screen where you can see it? It's Williams going straight ahead. He's working on Larry Cole. Looks like Bethea's in there at right tackle. And Randy White now is having to maybe get that uh, foot worked on. Randy standing on the other sideline at the moment. Buffalo taking the lead over Green Bay, six to three now. Second and eight at the 26. Heisman straight back. Looking to the outside and throwing and complete to Danny Barnes. Redskin first down at the 40. Dee Dee Lewis on the tackle. Good throw by Heisman. He is so much different than when we used to see him run around a lot. Watch how Theismann does not overreact to the rush. Let's see how the protection is. Kazeel still free. He goes over and helps on Cole. Well, that ball is thrown right in between the linebacker and the cornerback trying to cover. Bugs now has three catches. The blocking. Let's see how they handle it. And again, Theismann is very cool. Quick drop back and loads it up. Number 78. In on the Dallas defense on that last play is John Dutton. Heisman with time going deep. Down to the Dallas 15. And by, watch 79. Hermeling takes him by the quarterback. The play gets a pretty good rush late, but that's a good throw. Redskin ball just outside the Dallas 15, first and 10. Heisman asking for quiet, please. This can be a raucous crowd. Heisman going for it right now. And fires down the middle. Intended for his tight end, Don Warren. Tom Landry watching his team suffering from many, many injuries and perhaps a low point in their season. Well, the problem is if you're America's team, which means television, you play Monday night, Sunday afternoon, and now Thanksgiving Day, they've got Houston. Uh, you pay a tremendous price to be the team everybody wants to see. But after that stretch, of course, they have a 10-day rest. It's time to put everything back together. So if they can survive until that time, perhaps it could be turned into a blessing. The Skins have passed on first down five of seven times they've had the ball. Bugs wide to the right. Ricky Thompson stood out wide to the left. At the 15th, Theismann gives to Clarence Harmon, who stumbles down to about the 10, perhaps inside, before he's tripped up by Cliff Harris, just inside the 10-yard line. Looks like big John Dutton got across the line of scrimmage that time, and uh, the fellow that was obtained from Baltimore for a first and a second round draft choice has to play himself into shape, and that is not easy. Watch the right part of your screen. You'll see 78 uh, show up. Turn the play back inside and actually make part of that tackle. Gave up a lot for John Dutton. Sixth play coming up in this drive. It started back at the Washington 24. Line of scrimmage now is the Dallas 9. Theismann on an option play is going to keep it in check. And Theismann slips one tackle, perhaps has a first down inside the five. John Dutton 
On a pursuit, knocked him out of bounds. Harmon made a great block on the outside on the cornerback and allowed uh, Theismann, who is a heck of an athlete, six feet tall, about 190 pounds, but a good runner, always was. Watch this, watch Harmon's block. Stayed right with it. Six yard gain will make it first and goal on the three as Dutton comes out on the pursuit along with Thomas Henderson. Anxious moments on the Redskin bench as the coaching staff of the players watch Joe Theismann ask for quiet. 7.07 left to play first half. First and goal at the three. The Redskins, Theismann calling it. Riggins gets the call. John Riggins bangs in for the touchdown. That's only the 10th touchdown rushing against the Cowboys all year. And number five for John Riggins, who is very, very healthy. The big cans and his son running back. Let's watch the offensive line. They're all moving to the right. You can see Williams gets outside, the big guard. Great tackle there by Hunter. Just couldn't keep 44 out. There he is. Big John Riggins. Came from the Jets. Mosley down the middle. 14 for the Redskins, three for Dallas. And Riggins has only fumbled two times all year long. And he's a load at 228 pounds. Second touchdown for the Redskins, and they're up 14-3. Mark Mosley set to kick off. Ron Springs standing back deep for Dallas. Let's see if he really explodes one. He didn't quite get it end over end, but it chases Springs back to the three, where he comes whirling out to about the 28-yard uh, line. Stopped by Don Harris. Monday night, tomorrow night on CBS, the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Join the Peanuts gang for that award-winning special. Followed by Mash, and then don't miss Shirley MacLaine and Ann Bancroft in the turning point. One of the great movies of all time. Anybody that likes sports or the arts, uh, the turning point is an exceptional flick. Nominated for 11 Academy Awards. Tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central and Mountain Time. Well, Bereznikov is worth the price of admission alone. Personal foul on this very roughness. 57, defense, first down. 57 is Rich Milat, rookie from Penn State. And it'll be a Dallas first down at their own 43. With 6.54 left first half. Washington leading 14-3. Tony Hill split wide to the right. Drew Pearson to the left. Rogers throw back. Gibbs to Dorsett. And Dorsett is chased back behind the line of scrimmage. And now swings around to the outside. Out of bounds by Neil Okowitz. The middle linebacker. Great play by Coy Bacon, number 79. Coy, they don't know how old number 79 is. Coy played in uh, with Charlotte in that semi-pro league. He played with the Bengals, the Rams at one time. San Diego. Got seven sacks this year, and uh, looks like he's recycled the whole system. Great play on Dorsett. Here comes Olkowitz, the middle linebacker, and Wysocki out there, too. Cowboys are averaging about 2.1 yards a rush. A loss of a yard on that last play, so make it second and 11. And Staubach, in likelihood, will have to put it up. Somebody jumped on the left side of the offensive line, I believe, and Washington took advantage. They're saying, Pat Donovan is, that the Redskins jumped off sides. We will see. That's the scariest time for a quarterback, you know it? It's when half the people have stopped and half are still coming full. Green Bay 9, Buffalo 6. And the Cardinals have tied the Eagles at 6 apiece. That's a touchdown run by Wayne Morris, and the point after was missed. Quite a few point afters being missed. Uh, you might come out of retirement yet, Pat. I doubt it. One missed in that game, too. New England Old 20, start, Baltimore 67. 7. 67, offense and down. And Cleveland defeating Miami 7-3 in the second quarter. Chicago over the Jets, 14-6, second quarter. Second and 16 after that violation by Pat Donovan. Roger Staubach looking now certainly at a passing situation. Tony Hill in motion behind him. 
Ball back. Chased out of the pocket. Chased down. And finally knocked down. As the Redskins, Dave Butts, puts a clamp on the strambling Dallas quarterback. Well, he is some gutsy guy, though. He tried to get Dorsett. Tried to get Dorsett to go a little deeper. Watch him wave to tell 33 to abort his mission and get downfield so he could drop the ball to him. But right here, he's waving like, go on downfield a little bit. But now he does not give up. He gets away from a big rush there. And finally, Dave Butts swats him down. Wow. He ducked under Dusek. Troy Bacon, who chased Roger off from all the way on the other side of the field, looked like he might have had the wind knocked out of him, but seems to be okay now. He'll have to rush that passer again, third and 16. Preston Pearson operating from the shotgun back with Stallback, and this time the protection is good, and Stallback stays in there. Drew Pearson had it in his hands and dropped it, but a flag is down. Don't forget the penalty marker down. And some pass by Roger Staubach. And that time a delayed blitz by the linebackers by Washington did not get there. I think Drew was looking right back into the sunshine. Let's watch and see if he's looking right back into the sunlight. And I'm not making excuses. So this guy's caught too many of them, even in the darkest of night. We've seen him make some incredible catches. Personal foul. Actually, good coverage the by Lavender. 51, defense, two. first down. Goes away. That late blitz by Olkowitz was called for roughing the passer, so they're going to come out with a first down anyway. And they'll be in Redskin territory. At the 48, first down, Dallas. 5.45 left first half as the Redskins lead the Cowboys 14-3. Starback this time in a conventional formation with Newhouse and Dorsett behind him. That's Newhouse. Who lunges to about the oh. 45 before Dave Butts and Coy Bacon trip him up. And these old Redskins, uh, the Eagles beat Washington early in the year rather easily and made a lot of uh, what the Washington Redskins thought were derogatory remarks in the press. And the next time they came here to play him, Coy Bacon and company jumped all over the Eagles. Uh, this is a game they've been waiting for. They know they play Dallas well and they like the big game feel. Starback drops back, throws outside high for Drew Pearson, who has it. But I believe was out of bounds when he came down. Coy Bacon again, making a big pass rush early. Here's the isolation now. That's Drew Pearson, number 88. Tony Hill being chucked on the inside by Waisaki. A turnout, again looking right into the sun, but Roger didn't have a lot of time. Can't get the feet down in time this time. Good coverage again by Lavender. Cornerbacks are something Lavender and Parrish. They have uh, 12 interceptions between them, seven and five. Third and seven at the 45 of Washington, New England, 27, Baltimore, seven. Roger this time standing at midfield, operating from the shotgun. The snap from Fitzgerald is high, but he managed to hang on. The throw, Dorsett has it, and it'll be a Dallas first down. He did manage to stay in bounds long enough. Great blocking on the offensive line of scrimmage. You want to see some real struggling. Watch 64 and Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald takes him right on. This time, the Penn Spader st steps right up in there and takes the defensive lineman on the line of scrimmage. It's getting rough down there. There's the protection. Rayfield Wright blocking on Joe Jones and doing a good job of that. Good pocket. Good throw. First down, Dallas at the 35-yard line of the Redskins. Cowboys on the move. Dallas trailing by 14-3 to the Redskins. Picked off. Callback's pass right in the hands of Neil Okowitz. His first interception in a long time. His first interception as a Redskin. And number 20 for this team. And that defense keeps gambling. That time the young man didn't know he had it, but he did. Rock under through the receiver. Watch number 52. He's the one that comes up with it. He's wandering around trying to pick up a receiver. That ball is just given to him. Christmas comes early. Intended for number 80, I believe, Tony Hill. Or Cosby coming under. 
the case. The Redskins have the ball at their own 35, and Theismann goes right to work in the direction of Burns, who had it on his knees and dropped it. Aaron Kyle on the coverage, but a good throw by Theismann. Richie Pettibone, who we're talking to some defensive backs, and a linebacker, Brad Dusek. You don't want to even talk to the rookie right now. You don't want to tell him that he, what he did was right or wrong. He just got the interception for you. Olkowitz, I'm speaking of. A rather dejected Danny Bugs, you just saw come over to the Redskins sideline. So with him out, John McDaniel and Ricky Thompson. There is Olkowitz. As I mentioned just before the wide receivers, here's Riggins. Riggins met by Aaron Kyle and Dee, Dee Lewis. And who else? Bob Brunick, the middle linebacker. Tempo has really picked up. Dallas begin to really lay the wood on now. Here's the wide receiver, John McDaniel. He's got the crackback block. He's got to stay above the waist. He does. Boy, he gave Cliff Harris a shot. Two, Two shots. shots. <laughs> and a sling. And Harris is also playing with a bad heel. I don't see probably. how he's playing the way he was limping in pregame warm-up. Incredible. Clarence Herman and Ike Forte operate behind Theismann. They're passing backs. Well, the receiving backs, I guess, more correctly. Theismann sends them both out. And he comes out. He lost the football. I believe Washington got it back. They did. Oh. Well, you're living the good life when you get that one back because there was the red skin in the whole area and had to be four Cowboys. George Stark made the recovery. He doesn't put the ball away, and there's nobody around to really help him. And Thornton had a one shot at it. And coming over the top. Here is Mike Bragg, considerably better today on his punting than he has been all year long. And this one won't hurt his average, won't help it much. Wilson with the fair catch signal at the 29. Looking right at the eyes of the Redskin coverage. Number 51, the first man down, Monty Coleman. Joe Walton talking with his crew. Your old giant teammate. He was quite a tight end. Earlier today, Ayatollah Khomeini talked to an American newsman about the hostages for the first time since that crisis began. That American newsman is Mike Wallace. And you can see that interview with the Ayatollah Khomeini tonight on 60 Minutes at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Mike Wallace can get in almost any place. On first down here is Dorsett swinging wide to his left. Pete Wysocki tripped him up. Dorsett came in with a 4.7 average, 866 yards, and he is paying for every yard today, 30, car uh, 30 yards on 10 carries. It seems like they're hitting him from the handoff on. He got about five that time. Rayfield Wright is the big number 70. Seems to be running a little bit better than he has in recent weeks. Still never has completely come back 100% from that knee operation. Staubach has Dorsett. And he spins away from one tackler, and Dorsett gets a Dallas first down. Brad Dusek made the tackle. He got away from Okowitz first. He hasn't caught a ball against the Redskins. Now he has two today. Watch the spin that Dorsett makes. That's what scares defensive people to death with him, because you can defense the thing perfectly, hold it to two or three yards, and then he can put a move on you like that. Dusek with a good tackle and hanging on to one leg. And it's a good thing he did. First down, Dallas. At their own 40. We might have the two-minute warning before they start this play. No, they do get it underway. And the protection is super. Ron Springs cut down from behind by Dusek, but the pass complete. Great throw. I guess the best possible situation is to get a quarterback that has great experience and is still a young person. Watch this move. He loads it up. Bam. And that's a dart. Two minutes to go in the first half. With Washington leading Dallas 14 to 3. And the Cowboys, who seem to play well when the two-minute buzzer comes on, have that chance right now. At the 46. Second down, Dallas. They need four for a first. 
John Fitzgerald. Number 62 was shaken up earlier back at center for the Cowboys, and a long count. Starback comes straight back. Down the middle, Dorsett has it, stays on his feet. Down to about the 33 yard line before they knock him down in a sandwich between Mark Murphy and Ken Houston. Well, he's a strong, strong character. Hurry up now as the Redskins are, their obligation is to get back in the reasonable time so Roger can get it off. Well, you're right, the two minute drill on, they can really hustle it up. Dallas has all of their timeouts left and start off again, operates with good protection out the door set, a flag is down. Penalty marker goes down, Brad Dusek again on the tackle of Dorset. We have Ly Lyman downfield illegally blocking on that. I thought I saw Young Shaw downfield a little bit to beyond the line of scrimmage. Maybe not. Redskins uh, have indicated they believe it's against the Cowboys. It is. Redskin players injured. I can't make out who it is so far. I believe it's Coy Bacon. Well, what a job he's done. He and Lamar Parrish came from Cincinnati for a number one draft choice, and the whole town almost rioted. They said, what? Both of them have been solid fixtures. Lamar, of course, suffered a broken arm and missed a good bit of last year. Cal of four. 52 ineligible downfield offense, first down. 52 is young Mr. Shaw. I should be an official. I don't want to play. <laughs> oh, it'd be a rather wide open game, you <laughs> think? <laughs> Thanksgiving Day, the Bears against the Lions in that annual battle in Motor City. Also, Brent, Jane, Herb, Jimmy the Greek. Is Jane going to be there in Detroit? And Jack Whitaker. She's coming. That's good. They're going to be. I don't know how early she's going to be there. <laughs> Should be a very fine day. And by the way, they'll be long at halftime with all the scores, uh, particularly that St. Louis Philadelphia score, which everybody's sort of leaning on the edge of their seats waiting for. Bacon still down. Regional games next week here on CBS. Minnesota goes down to Tampa Bay. All right, Paul. Bacon is up. New Orleans against Atlanta. That's always a dandy. St. Louis against Cincinnati. Washington goes up to the Meadowlands to play those suddenly tough Giants. Philadelphia at Green Bay and the West Coast rivalry of the 49ers and the Rams. Get Tony Hill, number 80, playing that defense. You better have somebody chuck him at five yards and then have somebody pick it up the deep corner. You can only hit him once. He can go. First down, 20 at the Redskins, 45. And it is Shaw at center down. And a good snap from the young rookie. And the throw is intended for Drew Pearson. Knocked out of bounds by Mark Murphy, number 29. He's six foot four, the young safety man Murphy from Colgate. And did he drive on that ball after it was thrown? A very fine play. 6'4, 210 he is from Colgate. He earned his spurs by going down under kickoffs and punts for the Redskins like a wild person for a couple of years. That's the score. 14 3 Washington. Boy Bacon comes in and Carl Lorch comes out. A minute 20 left first half. Rogers 9 of 14 for 102 yards and one interception, but no points yet. Second down at the Redskin 43. And again, it's the shotgun. And Shaw is the center. That is good. Ball back with all kinds of time. Ducks under. Finally finds Dorsett. Dorsett down the sideline, out of bounds, will stop the clock. Brad Dusek pushed him out of bounds, but quite an effort by <laughs> Roger Staubach. I think it was Bud Grant that said, uh, Dallas is a great football team, but the real reason they're the Super Bowl contenders every year is because of number 12. Watch how quickly he makes up his mind on the replay and picks out Dorsett. The big rush comes Joe Jones, goes over the top, boom. Now both receivers, Dupree and Pearson, give him some good blocking to get him out, out of bounds. First one by Dupree is what really sprung him. Number 87 is Jay Salvi in the game now for the Dallas Cowboys. You look at Coy Bacon and Perry Brooks. Preston Pearson joins that receiving core as Dorsett goes over and talks to Landry. 
There is a knuckleball snap. Joe Jones again the pressure, and Staubach is tripped up at the 40, a flag down downfield. Dallas Hickman tripped him up, but a penalty marker is down. Jay Salley, I see, nodding his head as if to indicate it's against the Redskins. Well, the Redskins have been making contact beyond the five-yard zone and getting away with it. This time, it looks like uh, Kenny Houston might be the one it's called. Landry has chosen his player. He wants to deliver his message. It'll be Billy Joe Dupree. Look at all those charts and plays that uh, Tom has there. Here's the call. Illegal contact, 59. Defense, first down. Deucey. Very popular decision here in the nation's capital. As you can certainly tell by the indications in the crowd. Line of scrimmage will be the 28. It'll be first to 10 Dallas with a minute and two seconds left to play in the first half. 14-3 Washington. Don't forget what's coming up at the half. Get those corners covered. Two great receivers on either side. Hill to the top and Pearson to the bottom. John Fitzgerald just left the field with a bandage on his right knee. So that's his problem. The protection though holds up. The pass is Hill. And Tony Hill out of bounds for another Dallas first down at about the 12-yard line. Kenny Houston. Smart move. This time Hill goes by. At the top of your screen, you'll see him go by the up back. And then he stops. And the up back thinks now that the deep recovery man that's making the tackle there Kenny Houston had him under control good pattern by Tony Hill they mark it at the 13 where it'll be first and 10 Dallas drive started at the Dallas 29 keep your eyes on the young center number 52 he's doing a good job at the moment pass protecting from Tennessee I would imagine that John Fitzgerald has gone in for some kind of Precautionary treatment. He had an ace bandage around his right knee as he disappeared into the dugout. Starback from conventional formation throws, and it's almost intercepted by Kenny Houston. Intended for Jay Saldi, but Houston almost came up with the Redskins' second interception of the day. Watch the linebackers almost come. Dusek makes a late dog, jumps up. Kenny Houston might have been interfered with. Saldi did a good job keeping that one from being picked off. He sure did. There's your young number one draft choice. Shaw going back to pick up and help. Pretty good pass protection. And Houston couldn't quite find the handle thanks to a good effort by Jay Saldi. Scott Laidlaw and Tony Dorsett in the backfield now with Starback. On second down, 10 at the 13. Blitz is on. Starback is down. Kenny Houston from the outside. Nobody blocked him. Starback never saw him. A flag is down, however, down at the goal line. Hold everything. Looked like Lamar Parrish got tangled up with Drew Pearson when he was trying to go to the flag. Oop. Against the Redskins again. And the sack goes off the books. That is the sack that really hurts, though. <laughs> as the fans live it up. Watch the left part of your screen. The safety man comes. Laidlaw doesn't even see until it's too late, and Roger never had a chance. It's a rear view mirror. And the booze coming out of RFK Stadium. Starback again from the blind side by Kenny Houston. But it's all for naught. It'll be first down Dallas at the eight yard line. Houston came from Houston, didn't he? Yes. That was one of the great maneuvers that George Allen uh, ever pulled on at the eight yard line first and goal Dallas and a timeout call Washington's been penalized six times they've lost 55 yards Dallas four times they've lost 25 Rogers been on the ground a lot today he's had to scramble and run he's got that padded thigh that he got hurt in the uh, Eagle game on Monday night and yet he continues to Stand in there, take the beating very well. Jack Pardee, and don't forget CBS Sports Spectacular, Mike Weaver against Scott Ledoux. What about the battle of the NFL cheerleaders? What are they doing now? Or what have they done? This is the football relay race. I don't know what they've done. Also, billiards exhibition with Minnesota Fats and Willie Moscone. Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Pardee again 
in conversation. He was a fullback at Texas A&M, Jack was. He's a linebacker with the Rams and then here for years. Played under Bear Bryant. They tell me that some of the training that they went through when the Bear first went to College Station <laughs> was uh, like uh, living on the moon with no food. Very few survivors. <laughs> Come early and you belong to me. You to tell your mom you were right, huh? Stall back back for another visit. Tex Ram is telling me that his office at home is like going in the Hall of Fame. Roger. Every award that you could possibly have as a football player has been at one time bestowed on him, and yet you would never know what to talk to him, but it's there in that one room. The Heisman Trophy winner of 1963 at the Naval Academy. The Maxwell and the Burt Bell Award. Uh, I can't think of one that he hasn't got. No. Wizard White. His old coach when he was at the Naval Academy is having quite a year at Temple, isn't he? Wayne Harden. Right. First and goal from the eight. The Cowboys knocking at the door. Preston Pearson is behind Slovak. Like a delayed snap and the blitz is coming again. Whoa. They can't pick it up. Brad Dusek. And Monty Coleman with 44 seconds left. They swarm all over Roger. He had no chance. No time to even set up. Here they come. Raphael Wright's right in the center of your screen. Dusek, the linebacker. There are just not enough people. All, all signs lead to the quarterback. Dallas is called there. Next to last timeout. They have one more left. Staubach had no chance whatsoever. Landry, you'd never know if he's concerned. That is uh, the third Dallas quarterback standing behind him, Glenn Toronto. The Redskins love that defense. And everybody loves to play the Cowboys. Look at this. And the fans, of course, uh, they smell an upset. But it's not over yet. <laughs> Mike Gitko over the left side of the picture. Look at this crowd. Coming up next, the NFL today at the half with Brent Erd and Jane. This has been a long first half. If people from outer space or whatever is out there would ever visit us and see us on a Sunday afternoon, they would really think Earth people are off the wall. Huh? Well, you and me or the crowd? <laughs> well, back, uh, talking again to his head coach. Calls all the plays. Defense, defense, defense. Still has a lingering desire to call the plays himself. They're not going to let him do that till he's 40. He can play as long as he wants to. Yeah. As good a shape as he stays in. 37 seconds left on the clock. And it's second. And goal at the 19. 37 seconds on the scoreboard clock. Laidlaw and Dorsett behind Starback. Trap play? What do you think? Nope, screen pass. Nope. That's Drew Pearson. Back to about the three. Mark Murphy made the hit, and Dallas will probably use their last timeout right now. Brad Dusick thought he had the inside cut off, but I guess Pearson has made linebackers shake their head so many times. It's quick, the quick post. You see, Dusick was short, and young Murphy makes the tackle, but covering Drew Pearson is not a good way to... It's been an afternoon in this league. Good throw, too. Out in front. I had to pick my man in the clutch. He might be the man. Third catch of the day for 40 yards for son-in-law of Marcus Haynes. He said, how did I do in the interview I did with you and Pat? Uh, I said you were a star. He was super. And he also caught the ball very well in that game. And got bent in half. That's the timeout situation. Tony Hill and Drew Pierce. Two pretty good targets. Tony Hill just learns what the competitive aspects of the game like Drew has. He'll be all right. It begins at noon on Thursday Eastern time with the NFL today, followed by the match between the Bears and the Detroit Lions. And perhaps the best running back in football today, Walter Payton, the Bears. Here's something else. Ron Springs is number 20. Again, the meeting on the Dallas sideline. 
Callback will come back and Jack Hardy. Hardy, a warrior, what kind of a working on some ice? Yeah. He's a hard worker. And I don't think there's a football coach in the country that's not a worrier. You remember last year after the Thanksgiving game when Dallas blew the Redskins out, the Skins looked like they were demoralized, might never win another game. Third and goal, the 11th play in this drive. Cowboys have been helped out by three different penalties. 29 seconds left. Third and goal at the three. Starback looking, and down he goes again. And there goes the ball. Jarred loose. Redskins have it. Corey Bacon, number 79. What a pass rush. Again, Staubach had no chance. Bacon rushed right out of his shoes. They're going to have to give a third of a sack. I think three people actually hit Roger almost simultaneously. You be the judge. Safety blitz. Kenny Houston again, this time from the right side. Staubach was claiming, claiming that he was down before he lost the ball, but he's on the sideline and Theismann's offensive unit's in the game. 23 seconds left to play in the first half. They have two timeouts left. They lead 14-3. It's the Redskins. Skins dodged a cannonball that time. Dallas with a first and goal comes away with nothing. Now it's first and 10 Redskins at their own 19 and Theismann will just run it out. That should be the last play of the first half. And a very happy first half for the men of the Burgundy. The Washington Redskins as they head for the locker room leading the Dallas Cowboys and with a chance to move into a tie for first place along with the Philadelphia Eagles. The NFC East race is far from being over. Tom Landry has to be concerned about that performance in the first half. Washington leads 14-3 message was furnished as a public service by the National Football League. Tom Landry coming out to join his players for the second half of this match with the Washington Redskins who have dominated the Cowboys so far. The Miller Brewing Company, Brewers of Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. And by STP, STP gas treatment and oil treatment. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire here at the half. The Washington Hall of Stars. Some of them have been introduced. Most of them. Red Hour back among those who have their names on plaques running around the mezzanine deck here at RFK Stadium. Red, of course, lives in Washington, the longtime head man of the Boston Celtics. And the wife of one of the legends who played here and in Philadelphia. That's Margot Jurgensen. She should get the message was furnished as a public service by the National Football League. Tom Landry coming out to join his players for the second half of this match with the Washington Redskins who have dominated the Cowboys so far. The Miller Brewing Company, Brewers of Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. And by STP. STP gas treatment and oil treatment. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire here at the half. The Washington Hall of Stars. Some of them have been introduced. Most of them. Red Hour back among those who have their names on plaques running around the mezzanine deck here at RFK Stadium. Red, of course, lives in Washington, the longtime head man of the Boston Celtics. And the wife of one of the legends who played here and in Philadelphia, that's Margot Jurgensen. She should get the award for living with Jurgensen and <laughs> being such a great lady. He's, that's of course, up in Philadelphia doing the Eagles game, right, against St. Louis. That big guy next to her is baseball slugger Frank Howard. And boy, is he a moose. And Bones McKinney, the basketball coach from Wake Forest. They had some great people come through Washington and play well here, right? Bobby Mitchell, Larry Brown of the Redskins. Halftime statistics. Wow, look at the right column where Washington has 62 yards rushing, 
and uh, actually they've been conservative in that department 101 throwing 118 yards passing for Staubach but as they say no cigar right 12 of 18 penalties the skins have even won that one they had six tough penalties for 55 yards and the turnovers three to zip and those three really hurt the Dallas team in that first half speaking of great people who played here in the Washington area one of them to the booth with us now the Big E himself Elvin Hayes there's Elvin there's Elvin good to have you he'd be in action with the bullets on Christmas Day a game you'll see here on CBS against the 76ers in Philadelphia Billy Cunningham says there's nobody like Big E when you especially on big game day huh Billy Cunningham is right. Mark Mosley teeing it up at the 35. The Redskins have owned Dallas so far today. Ron Springs will be taking the kickoff. He did have a 70 yarder against the Rams, and that might have been the most complete game that the Cowboys have played this season. And since, and since then, they've sort of stumbled. Perhaps the last one. Mosley digging his toe into the ground, and Springs and Wilson standing back. Inside the five, 14 to three, Redskins. The back of Wilson. A line drive kickoff will be fielded by Springs. If he can find a handle, he gets a good hop. And Ron Springs circles around to the 25, perhaps the 26, before he's knocked down by Dallas Hickman, number 82. Elvin, what do you think about pro football? You get to watch it a lot when you're not playing? An awful lot. I'm a, I'm a great fan of the Redskins, even though I'm from Texas and by way of <laughs> Louisiana. But the Redskins are totally dominating today, and it's a great uh, football game. And uh, no one expected them to do this well this year. And so now they're ready in the thick of things and uh, beating a great team like Dallas today. You just kind of hope they can hold on. Roger Staubach gives to Newhouse, who whirls around over the left side for perhaps five. Elvin, did you ever play any football? You look like you'd be a tough tight end to cover as far as I'm concerned. No, it's a little too rough for me, I think. Basketball is, we don't have all those pads. Too much protection out there in, in football. I, <laughs> we like it a little rougher. <laughs> but basketball's a non-contact sport, isn't it true? That's what they always said, but uh, I never found that to be true. <laughs> Second and seven. It'll be Laidlaw back there with Dorsett this time. Opening seconds, the opening series of the second half at RFK Stadium, and Dorsett swings around to the left, picks his hole, knocked down by Tony Peters, number 23. That time, the Redskin defensive line just hit, controlled the blocker, and slid right across and made the play. Good play by by young Tony Peters. Watch the watch everybody stand their man up, do some spinning. That's Dyron Talbot, number 72, and the play is handling the line of scrimmage. Tell you the Redskins really have a good game plan both ways. And it'll be third down. It looks like about two at their own 34 for the Dallas offense. Newhouse back in. He and Laidlaw shuffle the plays back and forth. And Pearson comes in motion wide to the right. All back is gonna throw. He does. Has Newhouse. That will be enough for a Dallas first down out at the 40. Kenny Houston made the tackle. Looks like they're maybe gonna run uh, their good receivers. Uh, Pearson and Hill deep a little bit and throw under that Redskin defense. See if they can catch those young linebackers maybe chasing uh, shadows. Here you can see the good pass protection blocking by the Cowboys and Newhouse came from underneath one of those stripes and caught it. He's, you could lose him in a pass pattern, couldn't you? Robert Shaw is the Dallas center. Redskins lead 14 to 3. Here's Laidlaw with those short, quick steps off the left side, stopped by Kenny Houston. What a game he's had. Two fumbles and an interception. Got to make sure they hold on to it. Here's Scott cross blocking with Donovan. Laidlaw sneaks through the hole. Kenny Houston making another tackle. It'll be second down, Dallas, at their own 43. They need seven for a first as Drew Pearson swings out wide to the right. And now Billy Joe Dupree splits out to join him. Both of them standing. Stall back. Drops back. Right through the hands of Tony Dorsett. There's the under pattern that we thought we would be seeing, and Dorsett was already thinking about uh, 
uh, the fast lane, getting out and making a move, and he forgot to catch the football. We got a pretty big audience today, I guess. Up there, up to Alaska. Looking good. And the Redskins are looking good. I guess this is uh, their summertime up there. It's only about 40 below. <laughs> Boy, couldn't ask for a better day here. No. Luke Pearson split out wide to the right now. Tony Hill on the other side as this snap from Shaw is good. Starback. Hits the Dallas receiver. I'm not sure who it is yet. Tony Dorsett for Dallas first down. Brad Dusek made the tackle. Let's look at it again. Dorsett's having a pretty big day catching. That's his fifth catch for 55 yards. The pass blocking much firmer. Of course, the shorter patterns are going to throw underneath those linebackers for a while and make them play honest on defense. Dallas first down in Redskin territory now at the 48. First and 10. Third quarter, 11 and a half minutes left to play. Houston fakes a blitz. He does come. Dorsett looking for a place to go. Can't find it. And now does find some running room. It's incredible. The pulling guard, Rafferty, falls down. So there's no protection from the one blocker. It's got to make the uh, outside block for you. But Dorsett turns it back inside and still makes yardage. 76ers against Elvin Hayes and his Washington Bullets on Christmas Day. Pretty uh -huh. tough challenge, huh? Well, yeah, Philly gotten off to a real fine start. Daryl Dawkins broke his first backboard of his career. <laughs> <laughs> Make you really want to look forward to that. Of course, he only made four points. Uh. <laughs> After the breaking of backboard, how many more do you need? Pretty hard to score with no backboard. That's true. Here is Starback on a perfect wow. pass to Drew Pearson, and what a catch. Lamar Parrish on the coverage. That's Scott. There's Donovan on Coy Bacon. Looks like the Cowboys are getting a little bit bullish now. They got a first down at the Redskins 25. They've been here before and got nothing. St. Louis beating Philadelphia 13 to 9. Starback gives to run Springs. And Springs is down to about the 20. Perhaps the 19. Wayne Morris, another one yard touchdown for St. Louis. That's with 2.13 left in the third period. Thomas Anderson. Get him. Well, right now the Redskins are number one. Coy Bacon, the destroyer, being handled this time, blown out of there by the tight end Dupree, who can really block. Got some help from Rafferty, who just buried him. The handoff is to Springs, and Springs hurdles over the top. Not enough for a first. That was a second and five situation. Dorsett getting a rest. I don't particularly uh, think that the players on the sidelines should be worrying about the television cameras as much these days. It seems to me like they're losing, the coaches are losing the concentration factor there, don't you think so? In the days when we played, there would have been uh, some disciplinary action. <laughs> Third and three. They'd have forgotten to pay us again. Alone setback is Preston Pearson. Starback facing another blitz. Does manage to get rid of it. And it's out of bounds. It'll be fourth down. And Raphael Septien. The rush was led by Joe Jones. But Septien and Coy Bacon put the pressure on Roger Starback. Coy Bacon has been living in that Dallas protection pattern. Roger is getting pretty darn tired of seeing number 79. Beat him about the shoulders and throat. Look at him. The Jets and the Bears. The Chicago with playoff hopes, leading 20 to six. Here is Septian with Danny White holding. 37-yard attempt this time. He hit one for 34 earlier. And he's got another. Raphael Septien has accounted for all the Dallas points, but they still trail the Redskins with nine minutes, 11 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Score is 14-6, Redskins. NFL cheerleader competition. That's a good heavyweight fight, too. Weaver's an up-and-coming young heavyweight. Septien's kick sails back and chases Bobby Hammond back into the end zone. Pat, you know that... 
That's only the eighth field goal kicked against the Redskins the entire season. Kimo Sabi. Preliminary report on John Fitzgerald is that he will not be back. Don't know how serious his knee might be, but he's through for the day. Randy White hasn't been back in that Dallas defense since the first couple of series. And his place is taken by Larry Bethea. John Riggins is the deep back behind Theismann. The Cowboys got to play again Thursday. Redskins first series. They got to play tough Houston. Pass complete to Ricky Thompson. Flag goes down. Downfield. And let's see what the violation might be. There was nobody even close to where the penalty flag was dropped. Good cut blocking on the right side of the offensive line. It's by Stark and Jeff Williams. They cut down the big arms of Cole and Stahl. That's a little bit too good. That's the reason those fellows disappeared so quickly. It's a violation against Washington holding. Seven times they've been penalized now. They've lost 65 yards because of those violations. And here is the referee, Cal Lepore, with who did it. Legal body on the side. There. First down. I didn't understand that, did you? We've got to work with him on his <laughs> elocution. How'd that happen, Cleveland beating Miami? Well, let's see, Sipe, uh, last one was a 14-yard pass to Ozzie Newsom, who used to play for Bear Bryant, a tough coach, huh? First down at 20 yards to go. The Redskins backed up to their own 10. Here is Benny Malone, wrapped up by Harvey Martin. All right, Cole with some help, and here's a flag down. Cole came along late, and the official's flag came out extremely late. Looked like he might have speared him a little bit on the ground, but again, it's let's see, he'll come from the right part of your screen. Let's see where 63 does come from. That's a little late, all right. Yes, it is. And the walk-off is against Dallas. And a titter runs through the crowd. <laughs> Personal foul, unnecessary rough in 63. Defense, first down. You know how Larry hates publicity, too. Yes. A veteran from Hawaii. Playing alongside Dave Stalls. Redskins have a first down. Out of the 26 now. They lead 14 to 6. Heisman drops back. Blitz is on, and Heisman is down in the hands of Bob Brunig. Now, Brunig that time turned around before the snap and yelled to young Aaron Mitchell. He must have said something like, uh, I'm going or see you later. Watch 53. As soon as Kazil goes over to the right side to help pick up on the outside, Henderson and Bruning arrive together. Kazil came out to pick up the outside rusher, Henderson. They never really saw Bruning. So it'll be second down now. 17 to go. The line of scrimmage back at the Richkin, 19. See what Theismann's choice will be here. It is a running play to Clarence Harmon. And Harmon gets back perhaps for a couple of yards picked up. Larry Bethea wrapped him up. And again, a penalty marker goes down. Two good plays in a row. They almost a fight on the ground there as Bethea's going at it with uh, Harmon, I believe. Might have been a uh, nose guard uh, grab. Crowd reacts as if it'll be against Dallas, and the crowd reacts correctly. Boy, Bernie made a heck of a play at middle linebacker, too. Starting to get a little testy out there. Personal foul, unnecessary up in this 5-0 defense, first down. D.D. Lewis. Okay, it's the Cowboys and Indians time. Watch this play, watch Bruni, number 53, read the play, wait for the draw to take place, gets rid of Saw, makes the tackle. D.D. Lewis uh, does a little spearing. It's first down Washington as McDaniel comes in motion and Riggins gets the carry. John Riggins barrels before he's wrapped up by Bethea and Brunick. St. Louis, Philadelphia, 16-13 Eagles. That's Jaworski's 40-yard pass to Keith Krepley, the tight end, with 5.23 left in the third period. Eight minutes now, less than eight left in the third period here at RFK with the Redskins leading Dallas 
14 6, is, second and six. Is Landry an emotional person, or are we led to believe that he doesn't have much emotion at all? What about he doesn't show it. If he is. Here is Malone spreading to the outside and hit down hard by number 53, Bob Bruni, who's all of a sudden become very active. That time, Aaron Mitchell and Ricky Thompson almost had a fight. They're about ready to explode on all sides right now. Penalties are pretty even. Dennis Thurman comes in. Benny Barnes comes in. It'll be third and four. If you look at Pat Donovan. Laidlaw. Laidlaw alongside him. It's a big play right here in this game. Third and four it is a big play. 7.07 left to play in the third quarter. Redskins lead as Steisman will throw. And has a man open down the middle. It's Harmon. It's Ike Forte, I think we call him, coming out of the backfield. Aaron Kyle made the tackle, but it's a Redskin first down. He slipped inside Hollywood Henderson, and that time Tom did not make the coverage. He's got the great speed. Let's see what happens, because Henderson had him for a half a second and let him get alongside. By that time, number 30 was under a full head of steam. 20-yard pickup, Ike Forte, who was quite a running back for the Razorbacks. Heisman brings him out in Dallas territory at the 37, first and 10. Big game for both teams, and right now it belongs to Washington. And the Eagles watching that scoreboard, you know. Here's the throw for Bugs, and he's got it. Aaron Kyle had his back to the passer, and Bugs has another Redskin first down. Joe Theismann anticipated the Dallas Blitz, and that time he got it. The linebackers will come. Didi Lewis fires from the left side of your screen. Doesn't get there. This is an early lob thrown on about the second count. And Kyle got himself turned around and never saw the ball until it was too late. And by that time, Theismann had it there. 22-yard gain. Theismann at Bucks. First down at the Dallas 15. Six minutes, 10 seconds left, third quarter. Washington already leading 14-6. Running backs now, Riggins and Malone. Heisman with D.D. Lewis. Yeah. Down and hits his tight end, Don Warren. What a catch and what a throw. Big rookie from San Diego State. There's Whistling Ray against Kimo Sabi. The Redskins got Whistling Ray's horse. <laughs> He stole my stick. Here it is. A great pass by Thais, but because he was being grabbed by, I, I believe it was Bethea that had him by the foot. What a catch by the rookie from San Diego. There are the standings as today began, and you can see what a big game this is. Washington 7 and 4, Dallas 8 and 3, and Philadelphia 7 and 4. Second and four. Ricky Thompson in motion. Theismann pitches back to Malone. Malone fights to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's about all he does. And so it'll bring up a third down. Randy Hughes made the tackle. The Eagles still leading St. Louis 16-13. We could have a three-way tie for first place in the NFC East. The Giants, with their record of five and six, play later this afternoon in Tampa. Theismann, Joe is 10 of 17 for 149 yards, the one touchdown, and Danny Bugs has over 100 yards in receiving already. Danny Bugs put out wide to the right, Thompson comes to the left. Theismann asking for quiet at the 10-yard line, third and five. Clarence Harmon in the backfield. Theismann straight back, throws, and Harmon has it. Harmon scores for Washington. Mitchell into the end zone with him. Clarence Harmon. Harmon's third touchdown catch of the year. He made a great catch up a week ago to keep a drive going. Benny Malone was shaken up on that last play, but now he comes off. Heisman will hold for Mark Mosley as the Redskins lead 20. Some effort by Harmon. He keeps coming to camp, expecting to get released and waived, and he just finds a way to make the squad all the time. Great effort. Mitchell can't handle him. He's gained about 15 pounds since last year, and it helped right there. Mosley over the protective net, over everything, back into the crowd. 
That's a trophy they won't get back. The touchdown again. Mark Mosley, who just put point number 21 on the board, set to kick off for the Redskins, and Ron Springs back deep for Dallas along with Steve Wilson. Skins hold a re returns to 17-yard average. High kick from Mosley. Hangs up there a long time. Springs starts out. Ripped up inside the 20. Monty Coleman, number 51. That was a 13-yard return, and that was strictly desired. That is strictly an effort job to cover these like this. Watch him now. Watch the young linebacker. We told you he didn't even play high school football. Now he's a runaway freight. A whole bunch of split. Gets position. And the tackle. It's great effort. Now it's Dallas Hickman who hit Springs first and almost tripped him up. And then Coleman made sure. Dallas has the ball at their own 18. Staubach on first down. Fires outside to Pearson. And Drew struggles for a Cowboy first down outside the 30. Joe Lavender on the coverage. And everybody should be cautioned that a, a week ago, the Redskins led 27 to 7 and had to come back to hold off St. Louis. And Dallas uh, was losing the game to the New York Giants and won it in the last three seconds a couple of weeks ago. This team in blue and white will continue to play very well in the fourth period. Right now, after that 14-yard pass completion from Staubach to Drew Pearson, they have a first down. Pearson's caught five for 71 yards. Dorsett and Laidlaw in the backfield. Dorsett gets the carry and a call. And swings around the outside, out of bounds, over in front of the Dallas bench, knocked out by Kenny Houston. Good gain, however. Kenny Houston's made five solo tackles already today. Came in with 49 solos and still plays the safety spot as well as anybody. Tonight on CBS, 60 Minutes first, followed by Archie Bunker's place, Alice, the Jeffersons, and Pernell Roberts as Trapper John M.D. That's the new hit show of the entire season, Trapper John M.D. That's all tonight on CBS, second and four, six yards for Dorsett. Dallas operates from their own 38. Staubach with a lot of time. Throws. Hit it for Dorsett. Hit him in the hands. He couldn't hang on. Lamar Parrish covering. Pass that perhaps should have been caught. Have you ever seen a crazier throw than that? Roger didn't even look. Uh, she's a sweetheart, isn't she? That's a... Hey, Mom, guess who's with me? <laughs> Watch this throw. You talk about firing quickly from the hip. Looks one way and fires it over. I think it's surprised number 33. Yeah, pass is right there, though. Looked like it almost came out of the side of his hand, but it was effective, except it wasn't caught. Third and four. Robert Shaw, the center, gets a good snap back to Starbuck. And Starbuck. Gets it to Dorsett, and Dorsett has a first down. Down trying to block was Laidlaw, but Brad Dusek made sure that Tony stayed down. Cowboys average 157 yards or whatever per game, and they have picked up only one first down today rushing the football. Couldn't believe that face I just saw on the screen there. Delightful. Not, not Rodgers. <laughs> Dallas has 17 first downs to the Redskins 15 but Washington has 21 points Cowboys had six with 320 left to play third quarter still a lot of time all back again retreats and throws deflected by Pete Wysocki intended for Billy Joe Dupree who's been sort of quiet Think the Patriots have got it rolling today. 43 to 7 over Baltimore. Tough times for the Colts. Big concern there. Yes. Well, it's justified, too. That was Thomas Anderson on the right and Mike Hickman sitting next to him. Two of the Dallas linebackers. 
Roger is 17 of 27 for 193 yards. But you know he had over 300 yards last Monday night when the team lost. 12-12 between the Packers and the Bills. On second and 10, Staubach operates this time from the shotgun, operates against the blitz through Pearson. Staubach knocked down. Pearson was covered by Lavender. Uh, the rush was on, and the ball was there too soon. Watch what Lavender's getting away with. You're not supposed to hit him beyond five yards. He got his hands off quickly enough. Boy, that's good shadowing. Good man-to-man -man coverage. He's six foot, almost six foot four, former basketball player from San Diego State. Who, by the way, wears glasses underneath that helmet. Very cool. Found it about the only spot of sunlight left <laughs> at the end of the Dallas bench. A lot of years behind that. Preston Pearson will operate with Starback as one of the backs on third and ten. They blitz again. Starback throws and it's deflected and kicked off by number 29, Mark Murphy. And the Redskins will have it in Dallas territory. Washington looking good. That's Murphy's second interception of the year. Fifteen yard return on this interception. Good pass blocking. Great secondary work. There is reason to be happy. They've got new uniforms this year too, Pat. The I think they got some new people too. <laughs> they certainly do. <laughs> By the way, uh, Don Strzok has replaced Bob Greasy in that game. Greasy's not hurt, he just replaced. Here is John Riggins, and Riggins barrels for about nine. Over the left side, Randy Hughes had to make the tackle, and this Redskin team is fired, fired high. You wonder if the Redskins are, are fired up by their defense or their offense, but the Chicago Bears are really giving it to the Jets, and Walter Payton was hurt, but returned to the game with a collar to protect his neck he somehow got it jammed second and one nine yards for Riggins the turnover story Washington none Dallas four two interceptions and two fumble recoveries Riggins will have the first for the Redskins Larry Cole led the defense Washington 21 Dallas six he moves into the all-time list of rushers doesn't he he's in seventh place now right could by the end of the year move by John Henry Johnson into sixth place. Detroit seven, Minnesota nothing at the half. Double times for the Vikings. Double times for the Cowboys. We could have a three-way tie for first place in the NFC East if Washington continues as they are and Philadelphia can defeat St. Louis. Everybody would be eight and four. We'll have a great stretch run. Theismann. Over the head of Bugs, who was open, covered by Aaron Mitchell, the rookie cornerback. That is the situation now. And don't count the Giants out of it either. They could get even at 500, and they have games left with Washington and Dallas. Benny Barnes has not returned since early in that first quarter, and Mitchell's playing the corner. And Mitchell's problem, more than just being a rookie, is that he really likes to hit people, which is fine most of the time, but not if you overreact. Dallas doctor Marvin Knight Randy White kneeling next to him right there he hasn't played since the first series of downs Miami and Cleveland are tied now struck to Bruce Hardy for a two yard touchdown Clarence Harmon with his head down plunges and gets good yardage before Bob Brunig wrapped him up here's Harmon Mr. All-Purpose cuts it back inside you know, the Redskin offensive line doesn't get much credit, but as a unit, they block darn well together. They're not fancy. They don't have big reputations. Lynn Carano, Dallas third quarterback looking on. Third down and five for Washington. Clarence Harmon and Ike Forte are the setbacks. So let's see if Theismann sends them out. Both of them do swing out of the backfield. Theismann throws. Caught almost by Danny Bugs. Couldn't quite hang on. But. Mark Mosley can reach it from here. That time Saul just reached out and grabbed Thornton by the shoulder pads and got away with it. 
A lot of these defensive linemen now are actually taping down the flip part of the pad because sometimes they're used to almost steer them as they try to put a pass rush on those big linemen, reach up and grab them. Like a handle almost. Yep. The big leg of Mark Mosley. Got a white loafer on that, just like the shoes you wore when you used to kick in the old stadium. White shoes were not allowed in the old stadium. Even in the summertime, right? Mosley has plenty of distance. And he has it straight. Mark Mosley. 47 yards away for the Washington kicker. And they lead 24 to 6. There is concern on the far sideline. Mark Mosley just hit a 47-yard field goal. It's an incredible stat. He has 7 of 10 now between the 40 and 49-yard line. Same to you, my dear. <laughs> Mosley has this one off the right side of his foot. Fielded by Steve Wilson. And Wilson tries to get back to the center of the field and does. Bounces off a couple of people, gets out to about the 28 yard line, where Dallas will take over with 48 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Young Wilson went to school at Howard University, so he must have a lot of his friends and college people watching this game right here in this town where Cowboys are not exactly uh, heroes. Boy, his father was an exciting runner, wasn't he? He ran over me enough. Touchdown Tommy Wilson of the Rams and Vikings. The good years with the Rams. Redskin defense has stifled Dallas. They have not been able to score a touchdown. Two field goals by a friend Herrera. I beg your pardon, Raphael Septien. Herrera has since gone. <laughs> Dorsett sweeps left. And tries to find some place to go and is buried by the dark jerseys. Boy, Bacon lit that charge. Boy, it's a slow developing play, though. They pull the right guard, right, and they pull Rafferty. And Dorsett obviously is having to wait for these people to move around there. And the play has no deception. It's slow unfolding, and you're really getting uh, your thoroughbred back beat up on that one. Butts comes out, second and. Uh, 13, we'll call it, as Roger Staubach faces another passing situation, and the Redskins are faking blitz. We'll just see if it's a play. They don't blitz. Staubach down the middle has Drew Pearson. I beg your pardon, Tony Hill. And we'll have him in a singular look. Second catch for Tony Hill. Great speed after the catch. Boy, good move as he drives to the outside. That's the end of the third quarter with the score, Washington 24, Dallas 6. And we now pause for a word from your local station. Dallas offensive unit, Pat Summerall here with Tom Brookshire at RFK, watching Redskins enjoy a good day. How about Dallas rushing stats, 69 yards after three periods. That's some defense. Starbuck outside of Dorset. Neil Okowitz wraps up Dorset before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. There's some people watching a television set. Bowing it there, number one. It's a big set they brought in, too. That's <laughs> no portable. It's like a studio model. Like one of our monitors. Maybe it is. <laughs> on second and down, Dallas lost. Second down, Dallas lost two on first, so it's second and 12. At their own 42. Here is the blitz, and here is Staubach lofting high. Timothy for Tony Hill. The defensive play made by Lamar Parrish. Again, these are great man to man coverage, people. Got a nice little location there, fellas. We're all wearing redskin colors and enjoying what's happening. There's Parrish. He's as good man-to-man uh, -man coming across the middle as anybody in the secondary around this league. And the blitz that time really means the ball has to be thrown very quickly, and it was. Dallas has rushed 29 times, and Staubach has thrown 35. He's been sacked three times. 
Prescott Pearson in the game with Starback operating from the shotgun. Here comes the Redskin rush. And Starback fires down the middle for Billy Joe Dupree. It's caught on the deflection by Drew Pearson. Bounced off the hands of Billy Joe, and Drew made a diving catch, which now is legal. B.J. Dupree turns all the way around and keeps the ball alive. He looks like Elvin Hayes a little bit on this. Let's watch this. From the shotgun, Roger throws in the face of the rush. A good throw here. Watch Dupree turn around and keep it alive. Wouldn't you know 88 comes right under it. 35-yard deflected pass completion. Dallas owns the first down at the Redskin 23. Pearson now has caught six for 106. That's Drew. He splits wide to the left. Tony Hill out wide to the right. Draw play to Newhouse. And the house gets inside the 20 to about the 19 before Pete Wysocki trips him up. Wysocki spent some of those years on special teams, too, and did a heck of a job. You can now almost feel, though, the stadium ooh and ah as Dallas begins to move. And one touchdown, I think, would really shift some momentum in this fourth period. I still think this is going to be a very close football game. Second and six at the 19. As Dyrone Talbert comes out. Barry Brooks replaces him at defensive right tackle for the Redskins. Stallback, 20 out of 33 for 245 yards. 20 out of 34. For Pearson, touchdown. Stallback was flat of his back when Drew Pearson caught that touchdown pass. What a show he's put on. Third touchdown of the year. As we've said, he usually catches them when it's a must situation. Let's see how the pass protection is. Butts gets through. Roger goes down, but he has a feeling this one might end up in six, and it does. It's Joe Lavender, I believe, in the wake. Joe Lavender was one. Tony Peters was the other. Drew Pearson touchdown catch. Raphael set the end with Danny White holding. And with 12 and a half minutes left to play, it's 24 to 12 Redskins now. 24, 13. As Septian hits it. And Landry's fortunes look a little bit better at the moment, but Washington still holding a commanding 24 to 13 advantage. Bobby Hammond back deep for the Redskins. Septian's kick is high and deep, and Hammond will retreat almost out of the end zone and down it right there. Monday night on CBS, tomorrow night. Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Join the Peanuts gang for the award-winning special. Lucy Schroeder, that whole group will be there, I guess. Linus. Then on MASH, there's trouble. And Hawkeye and BJ are caught behind the enemy lines. And don't miss Shirley MacLaine and Ann Bancroft in the turning point. Nominated for 11 Academy Awards. Monday night at 9, 8 Central and Mountain Time. Redskins have got to put away some clock time. They've got to keep that ball for four or five minutes. 12.25 left to play as Riggins tries to cut back over the right side and cuts up for about four before he's met by middle linebacker Bob Brunick. Remember that turnover table, the second best team in the entire league in pro football are the Redskins. They take away a lot more than they give away. Richard Todd just scored a touchdown for the Jets. They move just 10 behind the Bears now. Riggins is 30 yards on eight carries. Riggins and Benny Malone, the running backs. Second and six from the 24 as Theismann gives to Malone. No place to go for Benny. Good play by D.D. Lewis. D.D. and Bruni got on defense. Aaron Mitchell is out there, too. Aggressive defense now. Cowboys are really storming 50. Plays off the block of Riggins. Get some help from Brunick, who comes all the way from the middle. I told you Aaron Mitchell likes to hit people. <laughs> Bob Brunick goes out. So does Benny Malone come off on the Redskins side. Clarence Harmon has taken his place. And he and Ike Forte are the running backs. This is when Theismann has to be extremely careful. On third down, he needs seven for a first. And it is time to be careful. And the pass is down the middle. It's complete. Not enough for a first down. Cliff Harris wraps up 
Clarence Harmon. Pretty good rush put on this time. Theismann was careful. It's going to be short of the first. A lot of people have told me, and they play with other teams in this league, that when you go in the secondary and Harris is there, he hits like a linebacker. He's a tough tackler. He really, he really nailed Harmon that time. Cliff is hurting a little bit, too, as you mentioned earlier. Here is the view from behind Mike Bragg. He's done a good job punting today. This one will stay up there a long time. Wilson spins away from one Redskin tackler, but gets back to the 40 before he's wrapped up by Neil Olkowitz. So the clock is stopped with 10 minutes, 19 seconds left to play, and Redskins leading 24-13. The Chicago Bears invade Lion Country for a holiday showdown with Detroit. You'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports. We'll have the Bears and the Lions while you're having turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Chicago Bears, the Detroit Lions. All begins here on CBS at noon. Roger, 21 out of 34 for 264 yards. Two interceptions, one a deflection, one right into the hands of Neil Okowitz. Redskins only used two minutes and 19 seconds that last possession. First and 10 Cowboys at the 40. Ball back. Caught by Dorsett, who is taken down by sure-handed, sure-tackling Brad Dusek. Notice how they're trying to come in on Dorsett from three sides so they can just cut down the big play. Let him have five or six yards and be grateful. That time he only got three. That's Riggins. Nearest you and Hermeling next to him. <laughs> is he a big old grizzly bear? Well, Look at Hermeling. 6'5", 255. Tony Hill is put down right at the bottom of your picture. That's Drew Pearson on the other side and Laidlaw back with Starbuck. Callback still looking, has Dorsett. Dorsett dropped it. Lavender chasing him. This is now a final score. Okay, the final. Eagles 16, St. Louis 13. These Eagles now go 8 and 4. Right. Dorsett's dropped three passes today that, and I'm not saying you could catch all of them, but that were fairly catchable. He still has eight catches for 61 yards. That's, he was really part of the game plan all week then, getting ready for this week. He's been busy. Again, Dallas doesn't seem to be able to get much out of their fullbacks. The situation in the NFC East right now, Dallas leads. But Philadelphia, as we just told you, has won. They're eight and four, and Washington could be right there. Drawback has the time, has Tony Hill. And it'll be enough for a Dallas first down as Kenny Houston wrestled him down. He never made a better tackle in his life. Ken Houston played in his uh, 182nd consecutive game, keeps a touchdown from going on the board. Watch this to Hill. And when he's dangerous is after the catch. Watch what Hill almost did. Houston almost knocked it away. Some play on defense. Boy, you do have to really have to have nerve. And Houston has that. First down, Dallas to the Redskin 48. 8.50 left to play. 24-14, 24-13, Washington. Ball back. Still looking. Throw. Intercepted by Dusek. The deflection stayed up just long enough for Brad Dusek to lunge and catch. And Landry. Show of disgust. That's Brad Dusick's first interception of the year. But they've had a lot of them, and that defense is whooping it up. Here's the interception, the third of the day for the Redskins. I was talking to Ronnie Jaworski, the Eagle quarterback, the other day, and I said, the best secondary you think the, the hardest one to throw against? He said the Washington Redskins. They play a lot of solo, man-for-man -man stuff. They scrap, they'll knock you down, and they hustle. Look at this Dusek interception. Yeah, that was Houston, again, that caused it. Knocked it up in the air. And Weisman has his Redskins operating. 
from their own 39. Thompson in motion to the left. Riggins running to the right. Big John gets three or four. Redskins would like to burn up some time on that clock now. Bruni went right to the hole and set up, but Riggins is as big as Bruni. and maybe outweighs him by five or six pounds. Used to run 109.7 at Kansas and broke all of Gail Sayers rushing marks. So number 44 is a pretty fair country back. Good blocker, too. Over on the Washington bench, Dave Butts. Second and six. Less than eight minutes left to play now. Steisman goes to the outside, and Dee Lewis is out there in a hurry. So is Harvey Martin. John McDaniel was the pass receiver, and he was lucky to get the yard that he got. Dallas getting very physical now, but oh, these guys have the scoreboard. Five turnovers. There's Brad Dusen. He's a quality linebacker. Buffalo and Green Bay, the Bills under Chuck Knox. Lead in the fourth quarter, 19 to 12, and New England continues to roll 43 to 14 over the Baltimore Colts. And the passing unit comes in on third and four. Ike Forte and Clarence Herman, the running backs. Inside handoff to Harmon, who will have the first down for the Redskins. And still trying to get rid of people. Dennis Thurman is number 32. Thomas Henderson, I believe, tripped him up. I'll tell you, that offensive line is downfield, knocking people down, even after their runner is on the deck. Watch 73 Williams go through the hole. This is a misdirection counter play. And they continue on downfield, and they're rolling people up even beyond what you can see here on this tube. Saul with a good block on Larry Bethea. Another angle now. Good call here. Cross blocking up front. Well, they pull the right tackle start and Williams through the hole. And they're in Dallas territory with a first down at the 48. Iceman. Going for more. Flag is down. Thompson has the pass completion. He'll be out of bounds inside the 15. Penalty marker down. I think Aaron Mitchell reached out and grabbed uh, Ricky Thompson before he made the up move. Boy, this stadium is rocking. It's against Dallas. 35-yard gain on that pass completion. And they'll accept it like it is. A good move put on. Theismann with a lot of time. And he interference 34 defense penalty decline first down penalty declined as Thompson comes right back in after he got his shoulder pad repaired Theismann is very cool now isn't he under fire he sure is he looks like he just steps up and throws the ball so easily doesn't force it anymore first and 10 at the 13 with six minutes 10 seconds left to play now Washington after more Riggins pounds straight up the middle for a couple. And that's all. Watch how, watch how calmly though that number seven handles this rush. We're used to seeing some good quarterbacks in this town. There's no doubt about it from Sammy Ball on. He's got the good arm. It looks to me like he's really got his act together. Step right up in that pocket. Second and eight. Riggins got two on that last carry. Miami drafted Joe Theismann, didn't they? Number four, fourth yes. round? Yes. Good Canada. Theismann is chased and still chased and throws. Touchdown. Thompson in the end zone. Joe Theismann is knocked down by D.D. Lewis as he started back. He knew it was an accidental play. That's Thompson's third touchdown catch of the year. Well, oh, I'll tell you, Theismann's quick on his feet, though. He got away from a big rush by Dallas to get that ball off. Here's Ricky Thompson. And the Redskin throng is alive and happy. And don't they play Dallas tough? Oh. The Baylor Bears. He can go home. 
it would seem. And Jack Pardee has done one heck of a job getting this Redskin team ready. Mosley hits. 31-13. Middle linebacker Bernie fires. Safety blitz. Dede Lewis. A lot of people are after. The Hounds are after number seven. It's a great throw. That's a pretty good catch. A diving grab by Thompson. Mark Mosley approaches. Hits it high and deep. And Ron Springs goes back into the end zone and comes out with it from two yards deep. Does not get back to the 20. Don Hover, the first man down to make the tackle, along with Monty Coleman. There the kamikazes are. As we said, a 17-yard average. That means you get the other fella inside of the darn 20-yard line. What a great way to play defense, though. And these people are doing this while they're waiting to make the team. You've got to help. It's never a solo tackle by that group either. There are four or five of them in there. Tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern time, the Ayatollah Khomeini talks with an American newsman about the hostages for the first time since that crisis began. He talks with Mike Wallace. You can see that interview with the Ayatollah tonight on 60 Minutes. A new quarterback for Dallas is Danny White. And he gives inside to Laidlaw, who hits Kenny Houston. Sheds him and gets a Dallas first down. Monty Coleman made the tackle. And a quick trap in there and really broke the fullback out. Danny White, again, the toughest thing for a backup quarterback to do is to keep be prepared to play. I mean, Roger Staubach seldom leaves the field. But White has always come on like he's been thinking about what he would do if. That is Larry Brinson, number 36, who just joined Danny White. First down for the Cowboys. Out at their own 33 with just over four and a half minutes left to play. It looks like we'll have a three-way tie in the NFC East. These two teams meet again on the last Sunday of the regular season. Danny White operating this time from his shotgun. Has Tony Hill. Or is that Springs? It's Hill. Neil Olkowitz slings him down. I wonder when the last time the Dallas Cowboys gave up 31 points two games in a row what the Eagles had on Monday I would imagine it's been a long time long time if ever and should the Cowboys lose this game it would be three of the last four and I think that's what the worst stretch the teams had since about 1974 something like that the Redskins and Eagles suddenly are talking about not the wild card spot but winning the division yes and well they should Kim McQuilkin loosening up for the Redskins. And he will all look like he'll be their quarterback next time they get the ball. Here's Danny White. Stays in the pocket nicely, and Laidlaw makes the reception, gets the beat down, and Brad Dusick makes sure he doesn't go any further, about five. And the shorter receiver may be open, but they're going to make sure they're going to cover up the deep ones. Laidlaw was open the moment he left the formation. Danny looked deeper, and the other guys were covering his side. I'll take what I can get. Good catch. Very aware of where he was in relation to the sideline. Here's McQuilkin. Came from Atlanta. Before that, Lehigh, where he was an engineer. Dallas has had to put the ball in the air now 40 times. on White. He throws down the middle intended for Billy Joe Dupree. Can't find him. There have been 30 games this year in which a team has attempted 40 or more passes and the record in those games is 3 and 27. And there's a moral in that story. If you have to throw that much you're not going to win many. And conversely if you rush the football 40 times in, in 81 games it's what 70 wins and 11 losses? 70 and 11 if you run the ball more than 40 times. I don't know how you teach turnovers or grabbing or taking advantage of them, but the Redskins are as good a team at doing that as I've seen this year. On third down, Cowboys with their shift. Ron Springs back with Danny White. And the rush is on again as Joe Jones puts some heat on Danny. He throws for Pearson. 
Preston gets his feet tangled up with Monty Coleman, and the flag appears. <laughs> Monty Coleman, the young rookie, looks around like, what did I do? Look at this. What a hustler. These, he and that Alkowitz are 218 pounders. They're going to be good linebackers because they'll beef up on Nautilus machinery and all. They're going to end up at 225 in another year or so. This was sort of a do or die pass by White. Pearson hits the deck. Monty Coleman is just 21 years old. And Olkowitz, the middle linebacker, is just 22, so they'll be Next around a while. Interference 51, defense first down. Tyron Calvert gets a rest. It'll be some flight back to Dallas. Long. And getting ready for Houston with Earl Campbell and company on Thursday. It's not easy either. First down at the Redskin 18 as White throws Kenneth for Pearson. Deflected by Tony Peters. Peters just stayed right in there, and Danny White never looked to see if the off safety man was there. That should have been intercepted. Peters knows. Dirt band. Look at the blitz by Dusick, and White fires. It is picked off by Redskin lineman Brooks, I believe. Perry Brooks. And he will go all the way for a touchdown, but they are bringing it back. The reason is the quarterback was under control. He was grasped and held by the defensive lineman. And this year, that rule is uh, being enforced. As soon as the quarterback is helpless, you're supposed to say King's X and let him go now. Here comes that blitz. Well, they're firing everybody. Here comes Coy Bacon, Perry Brooks. Young Monty Coleman almost had it. was in the grasp of the receiver. Nothing's here. It's down here. Third down. You heard the call from Cal Lepore. The quarterback was in the grasp of Dusek. Coy Bacon comes to the sideline. Now listen to the applause he'll get. Third and 19. Three minutes left to play. Washington leading 31-13. For Tony Hill. Got it. I don't know how. The juggling catch by Tony Hill. It's enough for a Dallas first down. The Redskins have the Giants left to play. Then they play Cincinnati. Some catch right here on this replay, Pat. And they finish at Dallas. Beautiful play. Hill, of course, leads the league and catches over 20 yards. Right now, the Cowboys need uh, about 20 points. And there's not all that much time left. This one looks like it goes in the W column for Washington. And there'll be a three-way tie for first place in the NFC East. First and goal for the Cowboy at the six. Intended for Butch Johnson, but all that does is stop the clock. Tony Peters on the coverage. Johnson might have had a step on him. I was told during the week by some Eagle players that they didn't think Dallas was very physical. That on the line of scrimmage now, you feel like you can sort of tee it up even with them and and almost intimidate uh, the team that went to the Super Bowl and has been the five of them. Well, we've seen it all year long, and there's no denying, really, that they do miss Too Tall Jones, Jethro Pugh, and Charlie Waters, although the other people have done a good job, but you can't lose quality people like that and not miss them. Waters was a great tackler in the secondary, maybe the best in the league. Uh, here is Danny White. That's a draw play to Springs, and he doesn't make it back to the line of scrimmage. Clock continues, 235. Perry Brooks led the charge. Pearson. Burton Lawless is at right guard 66. Scott at left guard telling you that skids are just teeing off, and whatever you run, they're ready for it. Great reaction, and they are hungry. I said it was Springs. It was Preston Pearson, the ball carrier, who was the lone setback. They were trying to run a draw play, but 
nothing doing. Third and goal now. The ball is back at the nine. Can't help but think back to just before the half when the Cowboys had first and goal and got nothing. Just over two minutes left to play, and now that is the indication. Danny White will have a visit with his coach, but there's not too much he or anybody else can do about this one. To play in this one. And the Redskins have been very, very impressive. And aggressive and nasty a little bit and belligerent. And I think Ernie Stockner sitting next to Tom Landry, uh, they have to wonder if are the Cowboys mean enough? Are they tough enough? Well, today they haven't been. There's no question about that. Third and goal situation here is Danny White. Here's the Dallas quarterback. The Cowboys have a lot of people hurt. They seem to be struggling. Here's the blitz to Hill. Out of the end zone. Bang into the restraining rope. Tony Hill made the catch. But that rope almost cut him in half. Joe Lavender on the coverage. He hit it at a full head of steam, too. Ball is thrown early, looking for the big rush, and he certainly got it. This ball is right on. Let's see how close. I think he gets one foot in. Uh, half in. About half of one, it's like not the other. Like run into a clothesline. Knocked down somebody over there, too, as well as the rope. It'll be fourth down. Perhaps the last possession of this contest at RFK for the Dallas Cowboys. For fourth and goal. Minute 56 left to play. 31-13 Washington. The rush is on again, and Danny White has Drew Pearson for a touchdown. The nearest defender was Lamar Parrish. The safety blitz was on, and Danny White hit Drew Pearson with his second touchdown pass of the day. Parrish sort of shoots under a little bit. He thought that uh, Drew was going to cut it closer to the goal line itself, and Drew actually went deep in the end zone. Smooth move by receiver we've always talked a lot about, knowing exactly where he is all the time. It's a good throw, too. Yeah. He throws on the run. Had enough zip on it. Raphael stepped in with Danny White, who just threw that touchdown pass to hold. That'll make it 31-20. And get ready for an onside kick when we come back. When we do, there'll be a minute and 52 seconds left to play in this football game. 31-20, Washington. That group there is plotting what they'll do against an onside kick. Five turnovers. Tom Landry is certainly going to have to search the soul of the entire squad. They've got to get ready and play Thursday. That means they have two workout days and a lot of doctors to see in the meantime. They've got some people all banged up. They need, a, they need White, Randy White, badly, I think. After they play Houston, they have the Giants, the Redskins again, and the Eagles. You might say they control their own destiny. So do the Redskins. And today they've controlled the football game. Septian goes just over the front line and pops it out of bounds. Those are the standings. Washington has this one all but locked up, and they'll be eight and four and tied with Dallas and Philadelphia. Just gave you their schedule. This is what Dallas has, Houston on Thanksgiving Day. The Giants, Philadelphia, and Washington. Philadelphia is a Saturday afternoon in Philadelphia. Washington has that left. The Giants, Green Bay, Cincinnati, and Dallas. Cincinnati's a sleeping giant there. And Philadelphia has Green Bay, Detroit, Dallas, and at Houston. Nobody really has any picnic. Would you like to go to the last day of the season to try to stop Earl Campbell to get a spot? That's the Eagles' flight. They'll be in Houston on the final day. Did and you ever onside kick much with the old Giants? Yes. Were you pretty good at it? I mean, is it? No. Glad I asked, huh? <laughs> Again, 
And Clarence Harmon retreats to the 30 to pick it up. Aaron Mitchell is there to make the tackle as soon as he does. Producer Robert D. Stenner, who did his usual excellent oh. job on the ball game and also last evening. How about the seafood that tab that we stuck in with? Yeah, Sandy Grossman. I thought you were going to hit him last night. <laughs> 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 and thank you, Ernie Bauer. And all the rest of you. Heisman to Riggins. Riggins. Cut off at the pass by Randy Hughes. Timeouts left. Dallas had three. Now they have two. And the Redskins will just try to run it out. Jack Pardee will have a good evening. Riggins and Malone behind Theismann. And Big John gets the call again and plunges for three or four. Dave Stalls led the Dallas defense. Bobby Bethard's done an incredible job. Uh, he's the general manager of this ball club here in Washington. And they haven't. I was told that the people that Bethard has been signing up and bringing into the program for the coach all want to play. They want to play hard. And if not, to go somewhere else or get another job. It's working. Ex-Cowboy Gene Fugit. Seems very little action lately. He's been bothered by a sore knee. Just over a minute and a half. He probably won't be here next year, I would imagine. You get Malone in a collision is tripped up by Dee Dee Lewis for a loss, and Dallas uses their last timeout. They're in overtime. Miami and Cleveland, a big game for both of those teams. And that's Strzok in there, and Greasy. Left that game just to get a change in tempo, I guess, for Shula's team. Malone checks out. Just checking uh, the records. Cleveland was seven and four. Miami was tied with New England in the AFC East with a record of seven and four. So that's a big game for both of those clubs who still have playoff aspiration. Houston is in second place ahead of Cleveland. One game behind Pittsburgh. The AFC Central. Speaking of big games, who's in the Sun Bowl this year in El Paso? Uh -huh. Well, we think Washington is going to be one of the teams, and perhaps Houston. Oh, I uh, kick to Wilson. Fair catch, signaled for. And it'll still be Danny White, the quarterback, for the last-minute message from Landry. Cowboys have used all of their timeouts now. Got a letter from some guy in Las Cruces, New Mexico, this past week, and he was really hot. Very good letter. Yeah, he said that he was not a Dallas Cowboy fan, like I said, that everybody in New Mexico was nuts about him, that he was a Los Angeles Ram fan. I wrote him back a note that he was 2,000 miles <laughs> due east. You mean it wasn't a friendly message? Huh? <laughs> from the shotgun. White is sacked by Bacon. Ball is loose. The Cowboys have it back. Bacon was the first to arrive at the quarterback. Danny White a little bit slow getting up. The pass rush continues as the beat goes on. Look at this. Coy Bacon arrives first from the blind side of the quarterback. Brooks was the other Redskin tackler. They rush with the four men. And again. Pass complete to Tony Hill. Hill outside the 35 to the 38. Monty Coleman made the tackle. But they have no more timeouts left. And the clock continues. Maybe one, maybe two more plays. Dallas all set. And Danny White throws over the middle, and that just about, well, it's incomplete. As Dupree can't hang on. Brad Dusek. Wrapped him up just as the ball got there. And the clock will stop with 19 seconds left to play, and it'll be fourth down. 
I also got a letter this past week from a bar named Scanlon, uh, Scanlon's Bar up in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and they, they have our picture blown up behind the bar. And, uh, <laughs> For what? Well, I, I was almost afraid to find out about that. <laughs> Giant dartboard in the That's sky. That's a dartboard, yeah. <laughs> this will be fourth down. Dallas quarterbacks have been sacked five times. And look out, this might be number six. Down goes Danny White, and Coy Bacon is again the man close. Number 79 has had a great day. Three sacks. Uh, at least one of the fumbles was recovered by Coy Bacon. Five or six, uh, two, two of those fumbles. I don't think he's happy, do you? A lot of solo tackles. And a great day for the Redskins. Happy, yes. Redskins have a, had a total of six sacks. 51 yards in losses. And much humiliation. 31 to 20, the final score, and a three-way tie in the NFC East. And who's going to be in the playoffs? Seconds still left to play, but field goal time as Mosley comes on the field. Mosley is coming out. Wow. Well, wow. they're thinking playoff points because when you get down to that fifth That's category right. for a wild card spot, it's number of points and differential. And the Redskins take Redskins take a timeout now. Your first thing you think about when you see this happen is they're trying to rub it in, but that's not the case. As Tom Brookshire just pointed out, those total points and point differentials, if you get down to the common opponents, common opponents, and you get down to how you did against each other. That's how people always treated me. I like I was a common opponent. <laughs> well, did they try to rub it in? Beat on me like a drum. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mosley then, from 45 yards out. With Deisman holding. That's far enough. He got it. Mark Mosley is decked, and so is Joe Deisman, but nevertheless, the field goal is good, and a flag is down. That is 45 yards, and it's Aaron Mitchell that makes the contact. The old domino principle there, and the flag fell right off. Got them both. Aaron Mitchell hit the kicker mostly, and he knocked him into. We take it up running into the kicker, offense being forced on the kickoff. Field goal is good. Knocked him into Theismann. And Mosley will still kick it off with nine seconds left to play. You always wonder about having your quarterback a valuable commodity holding like that, don't you? 34 to 20, a 14 point difference. So that's something you might keep in mind as we come down the stretch now. Cleveland beat Miami in overtime, 30-24. Brian Sipe, certainly an underrated quarterback, right? 39 yarder to Reggie Rucker, who used to play with the Cowboys. I'll say he's underrated. That means Cleveland advances to eight and four. And Miami falls into second place. With a record of seven and five behind New England. So who knows who we're going to be talking about in the playoffs. Ron Springs we're talking about right now. The penalty we're running into the kicker is enforced on the kickoff, as Cal LaPore told you. So Mosley will operate from the 40. He might kick a field goal from here. <laughs> He lofts it over the head of Bruce Hutter. It's a half wedge. Here is Springs, and that should do it. And the crowd counts, and the scoreboard does too. A Redskin victory done in most impressive fashion. Landry, well, the clock now stops with five seconds left to play, so the Cowboys perhaps will get one more play underway. team hasn't uh, a lot of these people haven't lost uh, in a long time especially three out of four they may not be uh, ready to handle such a situation not quite ready for that 
if you're a Dallas Cowboy. The last one of this one. Trying to set up a screen pass and does. Out to run Springs. Springs at the 40. Trips up. And that's it. Big we win sign up on that big new scoreboard here at our Park game. And we'll be back after this word from your local station. This is CBS. That Redskin victory, Tom, was certainly no fluke. In fact, it wasn't that close. People had told us that they were a great team at taking advantage of your mistake. They turned over the, the six, six turnovers from Dallas into points. And look what's happened now. The log jam is I finally got to use that word log jam. A three-way tie for first place in the NFC East. And here's what Dallas has left. Houston on Thanksgiving Day. The Giants in Dallas. And they barely beat before. At Philadelphia on a Saturday. And then they finish against this team that trounced them today, the Washington Redskins. And here's what Washington has left. And they go to New York, which won't be easy. Green Bay, Cincinnati, a team that is very much uh, better than their record. And, of course, the last day of the season at Texas Stadium. And the Eagles play at Green Bay, at home to Detroit. They entertain Dallas. And then they play on the final Sunday at Houston. So that's the story from here. This is Pat Summerall for Tom Brookshire saying so long from Washington.